What going on, everyone? Today, welcome to episode three of the. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Today, we have three special guests with me. Yes, three. Number one is Chain Chow fan. And yeah. True Asian gamer making their third straight appearance, and then yeah, not me. The one making his grand return. He has been last seen since episode one, and that is psychologist imperialist. Psycho oh my god, who the fuck poisoned my mark? Jared, what the fuck do you do Dude. this time? Alright, I can't, I can't settle with him right now. Let's, let's just keep going with this. Yo, yeah, so. and also, really quick, I just want to mention, RP Dodeca, he won't be able to make Rest the podcast. Peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Eggs might be able to make it for like a millisecond and stop by. And then Tommy, I don't know what he's doing, so. He's always busy. Yep. Yes, sir. So basically, <clears throat> also, I'm not going to be uploading this on its anniversary, but on August 23rd, one year anniversary of the Cubicles podcast. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and so much has changed from one summer to another, and it's just so insane. So we're here to recap what has happened since the lad podcast, you know, see how 2021's going and shit like that. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And basically, I want to explain one of the biggest things, not really one of the biggest things, but one big thing that happened in the friend group. Joker finally came back, and he came back for good. Yeah! He has returned. The king has returned. Yeah, yeah to the people that don't know, Joker uh, was, was like a big part of our friend group back then. And then he took like a, a year hiatus. We didn't know what he was doing, but recently, like a couple of days ago, he came back. And that is very swag. And now he literally yeah. joins like our private Discord v Discord VC every day now. He chats with us. Very it's swag. Glad to have him back. Mm -hmm. We could have had him in this podcast. Damn it. You. Mm. Yeah, but uh, but I got like some topic in mind. I think me and Shane we already discussed it uh, by ourselves. But I feel like one thing we could discuss about is Pixels by Night because. Me, Joker, and Shane, we kind of discussed about Pixels by Night and his fall a little bit, but I want to talk about nah. it. I want to talk about that later if we're going to talk about it at all. Now nah, we're talking about Pixels by Night, how lit he is, how we brought us all together. Very, very, very fun guy we doing very, very, very that. fun things. Before we talk about the fall, we got to talk about the. We got to talk about what makes him good, and that is we're making us all together. But we're going to talk about that in a bit. Right now. I we're just starting the Hayden train already. I don't. Want, I mean, I. I mean, that I was just throwing that out. I was just throwing that out there. You know, it's just something we could talk about. Yeah, just testing out the waters and such. See if it'll bite. Yeah, but one thing I want to talk about first. We got to recap 2021. So, what? So, how has 2021 been for y'all? So far, all I could say is better than 2020. Definitely. Way better than 2020. Honestly, it really is. Yeah, I'd say for me, it's 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 been pretty casual. Nothing too um, random. Just sort of like came out of nowhere and just sort of kicked me in the face. It, it, it just felt it just felt like any other year besides last year. You know, it it felt pretty it felt it felt pretty cool. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other than what recently happened in the Splatoon community, uh, other than that, uh, you know, this year has been pretty average. Yeah, I'd say the same, um, but though, like, it's been weird, because, like, me and Shane and, like, other people who just graduated high school had weird ceremonies and stuff, and, oh, yeah. You yeah. Like a million ceremonies. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> what do you mean, whatever? Talk about them. I want to know why you went to a million graduations. <laughs> because most of them are online, and most of them are in person, because they still have the COVID problem and stuff, and it's dumb. Right. But a lot of things, a lot of good things happened. All right, <laughs> which we'll discuss later. Okay. All righty. But basically, how do we, how did twenty twenty one start out anyway? What happened in January? Did anybody even remember? I I I just I don't really pay attention as to whatever happened. I just kind of go with the flow. I, I stay mostly in like the present, sometimes the future, hardly in the past, unless it was really, really funny. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I already forgot. So, 
The only thing that I remember that happened was just drama regarding a huge YouTuber. Like yeah, at the it's start of the year. Bad. Oh, I think yep. I know which YouTuber. Yeah, Gregor, your favorite content creator. Yep, Skull mm -hmm. go. No, not him. But he did get oh, into drama. Over. He did get into drama. He did. He did. That was like the over. first major like Splatoon creator that got into huge drama. If we want, we could talk about the- we can talk about like all the drama in the podcast. Nah, don't. Drama is fun! Yeah. Drama is fun! <laughs> drama is uh, it, It's content, yeah, guys. Well, it's content. Out there because, yeah. But, but basically, what Smash characters actually came out in like this year? Like, I know we got Kazuya, but like, what other ones? Oh, uh, Pyro and Mithra, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, I remember <laughs> in the January Direct, you got Pyra and Mithra, which we also saw the rise of Now Plays. Yeah! What a legend. What now a man. What a legend. He had the biggest redemption story ever. Went from went from a kid nobody really liked to a kid that everybody wants to be like. Yeah, man was inspired Pyro and Mithra to be good in Smash You Brothers. want to be a Pyro and Mithra main just like yeah. now. You, that's just exactly like who now. you want to be. <laughs> yeah. He's and, an inspiration. <laughs> And it all started because he was, because there were, he was featured in a millisecond of like a huge Pyron Mithra reaction uh, nice. compilation. Even though Malplay's reaction only had thirty views at the time, it still managed to get into a huge compilation with Failboat, Daco, and, <laughs> and like big yeah. YouTube yeah, that's crazy. by Snowy yeah. Bros. It was really funny. Oh yeah, and them. That whole thing was just wild. Like, like what Jane said, the video had 30, 30 views when it came out, and and guess what? His video got into the fucking video of two hundred thousand views with the biggest Smash content creators like Hungrybox. He just Malplays just that goaded. Just reaching for his stars, yeah. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh, I see what you did there. Ah. Uh... What else happened in 2021? 2020. Oh yes, Splatoon 3 got announced. So oh yeah, oh yeah. He pulled the plug and actually announced the thing. Yep, and my Very reaction much. popped off, and 200,000 people from Japan loved my video. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, apparently, because somebody reposted it and thankfully credited me, and that video has like over 200k views. But luckily, That's pretty, that was pretty luckily, wild. During the direct, during that, during the di during that same direct, they announced the Metopia, the remake. Yeah, a great remake. Greatest, and to, the, to this day, Cycle is, and to this day, Cycle is still in the underground maze. Where is yeah. Modachi life? That's a good question. We need that. Jeez, Who knows? Oh, maybe, no. maybe another direct will be announced, but I highly doubt that. Also, um, the Breath of the Wild sequel is announced and has a release date. Like yeah. Well, just the year, but still. Yeah. Something. Mm. I haven't watched the new Breath of the Wild gameplay, but it does look fun. Is it? Mm -hmm. And also, yeah. Kazuya got announced. What's y'all thoughts on that? Really oh, funny, only because of its reaction. <laughs> really it makes funny. anything funny. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part was X was like, bro, who asked for this character, bro? It's a fighting character. <laughs> so I literally jinxed it, and boom, you got your fighting character. <laughs> yep. You want a cookie now? Holy shit. Hey, I was actually looking back at, like, the Iggs reaction, and, like, my favorite part is the moment Life is Strange caught, like, went up. Like, y'all y'all immediately went, oh, Greg56, he's so excited. He's so excited. My god. Because you love Life is Strange, right? Even though you streamed it, like, three times before. Yeah, I remember before that, I actually did play the game. I, I even completed up until episode four, so. Yeah. Good job, Gregory. Good job. Yeah, I do gotta say it's probably like a top five game in my opinion. So that's so cool. Mhm. Mm and also, when they announced Kazuya, I got I got so much backlash. I was literally gonna get 
fucking poached to the cross because I said that Kazuya was from Virtual Fighter. You dog. As if that hasn't happened already to you several goddamn times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gregor. But also, <laughs> but also, one thing I will give credit to Kazuya is that he helped me made my video blow up Kazuya versus oh. Ken versus Ryu versus Terry yep. and it has 10.2k yep. uh, views Let's so the numbers dumb. just keep rolling man look at them numbers go I still find that so dumb oh, well, that's your okay. most popular video but yeah, hey at least it's content the, it's a past Cloud vs Sephiroth Steven Universe vs Spinel and most importantly the Super Bowl simulation Oh my goodness. I'm glad <laughs> you surpassed your Spinel video. I'm glad it Good did. Job. It's just. That video proves just how stupid easy it is to blow up off Steven Universe. Yeah. Oh you don't even man. Know what the algorithm is. It's not even accurate. Yeah, but. Hey, at least I got six point. At least I got like 7k views from that video. But. Sheesh. But. Also, another thing has happened. A one game has blown up as Cyclone is deafened, but one game has blown up since the beginning of 2021 in the game uh, Friday Night Funkin. Oh my, what a community. What do you mean? No, I'm, I thought it started like October. Yeah, but nobody. nobody nah, was Among Us, Among Us was like. Among Us was like. That was like Dodeca. Among Us's peak. Uh, that was Among Us's Dodeca. peak. Dodeca. He commented on my last podcast saying that we that he was surprised we somehow went on the, ent the entire three hours without talking about Among Us. Yeah, and we're gonna keep it that way. Yeah, we're gonna keep it that way. I'm not talking about that. Dumb Among thing. Us is dead now. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah. But Friday Night Funkin is the next is the next big thing, and it's still getting talked about to this day. Yeah. Somehow, even though it has seven weeks, I'm not saying the game is bad because I love the game, but people are overrating it way too much. Uh, yeah, like I love I the game. Like that's my I like the music. I feel like that's. But my like problem. they only have they only have seven weeks. Wait till the full game comes out. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll talk. Well, that is like when my, would be like released. Oh my! I feel like that's my problem with Among Us and Friday Night Funk, and it's just like they have like kind of little content, but then it gets like way overhyped to the extreme, like. Like, people act like it's the next Messiah or some shit, but it, nah, it's just it's Friday Night Funkin' has seven weeks and Among Us has three maps. It's like, what, after after a while, there's like nothing to it. These goddamn motherfucking kids, they just got, you just gotta, just pu push them away. I mean, like, come on, like, who, who let them into the, out of the fucking cage? Like, who, 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 there? who let them on the internet? Who let them on the internet, exactly? All I can say. Just, just, who wants a bedtime story, huh? Yeah, I want a bedtime story. So what's so about just one a little crewmate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens next? And then what happens next? The boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin comes in. Wow! And the, and the crewmate? You'll never know. No. You'll never know, Gregory. Because okay. you're too busy on the internet watching date mod true Asian gamer no, videos. Oh, why oh, is that a God. real fucking mod? That's the most <laughs> random thing I've heard. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Hey, That's why is thing. that a real mod? <laughs> I don't know. The Friday Night Funkin' community scares me. Yeah. Why? But the good thing is, the Among Us fandom is dying. Yep. Thank God, bro. But I hate how Among Us as a meme isn't dead. What do you mean? Sadly, but hey. Since the game is dead, that means the meme is slowly starting to die too, Honestly, so. That game is so... It's so overrated. Like, yeah, it's the, so sus. In the Twitch, like, channel, like, when I go to the... Among Us category, the total amount of views nowadays are like 6,000 to 5,000 views. 5,000 to Thank 6, God! Oh yeah, that's Usually nothing it's nowadays. Like 100,000, which is mostly like Japanese players or Spanish players playing it with popular streamers, but now- Or it's, it's SS Sunday with a dab mod or- Oh a... yeah, why the fuck does SS Sunday oh, yeah. still upload <laughs> that? And guess what, it's still popular to where it gets number one on trending. <laughs> Do I even bother with the trending page anymore? Is it even I, real? I, I keep forgetting the trending page is a thing. I like yeah, never like, check it. Who actually uses that unironically? Like, Gregory. Ooh, look, I see what's like the types of it. I was I was literally so bored that I just said, "Fuck it, let me just go to the explore and let's see trending." And I, and the first thing I see is Sunday. And when I scroll down, you'll see <laughs> Minecraft and Friday Night Funkin and more oh. Grim Bops. Oh. I know another thing we can talk about. What? 
The boxing matches. <gasps> the boxing matches. Ooh, yeah. Mayweather. Oh, that ripoff. Nah, nah. We don't. That was the worst. That was horrible. That was actually straight garbage. There's not even a result. They just caught a draw. <laughs> Literally no results. No winner or loser. Just like, good game, guys. Good game. GG, no read. It's like, what's the point? What's the point of fighting if there's no competition to it? I'm about to go to bed. Don't they have like, the judges? It's them hugging half the time. Yeah. That's gay as fuck. <laughs> you really think so, hun? <laughs> you really think so? That's gay as fuck. That's gay as It's It's not about the battle, it's about sending a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, but what was, was better? Fight, though? Yeah, the TikTok, the TikTok versus YouTubers fight. Surprisingly. Okay. Yeah, but you know what fight was amazing? The Ben Azar versus Austin Green <laughs> fight. Oh. Why? Because his ass got whooped. Yeah, because his ass got fucking handed to. He actually got whooped, and Ben Azar was represented as a TikToker and not a YouTuber. I think that's because he literally has 12 million followers on TikTok. So. My God. This man is like nothing on that fucking app, like really. <laughs> you, know, you like whatever you make on there, you're just like the lowest you can probably get is like a hundred thousand views or something like that. I don't know. How does that app work again? Somebody tell me. I don't Maybe know. Greg, you just fine. upload fifteen second videos and like it will just and like <laughs> what at least one video of whatever you're into or not into will show up on your for you page. So yeah. So that's, oh, that's like the easiest way to make like a million dollars on that goddamn app, isn't it, huh? Actually, fun fact, like this guy named Zach King, he got 2 billion views on a TikTok, and that alone made him only 63,000. Oh, that, yeah. that yeah. the vine person, okay. That is the the the, ma the magical vine person, yes. Yeah, too, bad, too, bad vine. The, too bad the one with not over 2 billion views is King Batch. Like, he deserves that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was King Batch. But, like, most of the Zach King vines are, like, pretty, like, simple. Like, oh, I know what yeah, he's going to do. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, obvious. Like, you know what he's going to do with that object. Hey, but it's still cool to see how the hell he managed to edit that, so... Yeah, I want to see Zach yeah. King fight versus True Asian Gamer. Okay, we get it. You could go through objects. That's very cool. Yeah, fight him. YouTuber versus TikTokers. True Asian Gamer representing the YouTubers and Zach King representing TikTokers. I would pay to watch that. Yo, you know what there needs to be? A TikToker versus Viner boxing event. Oh my god. Really now? It'd be the same thing then. Yeah, but I just want to see like, I don't know, like Bryce Hall face on against King Batch. My god, why? That's most like of a you thing. <laughs> yeah, that's just <laughs> King Bad. I can't believe he's a real human being. Like, <laughs> he's out that massive <laughs> fucking spoon. It's only a spoon's full, sir. Kazo's him in one hit. Yeah. Oh my god. But I yeah, love memes. About what you were saying, yes, one of the biggest, one of the best fights was definitely when Bryce Hall got his ass whooped by the Ace Family dad. That was great. Next up, I want to see the Ace Family dad face on against the FGTV dad. Which one's the better family? Oh, oh God. <laughs> but you know what? Let's talk, Greg. I remember you mentioned earlier in the podcast that some people have hit, have reached their goals this year already. Yes. Or some people have reached their goals of 2020. And you said you knew some of them. What were some of those? What were some of those goals that people reached? Well, I know one of you actually made the goal. You said that you wanted to hit, I think, three k subs by the end of twenty twenty one. And right now you're at two point eight k. You're almost there. And I remember yeah, I'm almost close. there. And I remember you said you want to hit a certain amount of views. And guess what? You hit that certain amount of views. So what was what was that? Like ten k? I forgot, but but you know you did hit it. Well, I, I guess I did. If you said I did, I'm gonna take you by your word. Mm -hmm. And also, shout out to Ray, cause he he kind of revived this channel again. Not not uh, doing you know what content, cause he has like two Friday night he has two Friday night Funkin' videos that actually pretty much have over a hundred k or did really yeah, well. I, yeah, I did one two days ago. It has like a one point eight thousand views now. Yeah. 
And speaking of Ray content, Ray got a new computer. I know, right? It's and very it streamed good. It well. I did a successful successful stream that I can't talk today, but yeah. Yeah, now all we need is uh, a mic stand, good Wi-Fi, a webcam, and you're good. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. And then Psycho, do you have any content plans for the future? I actually do have a bit. I mean, it's my thought process is kind of like a little bit iffy, so it kind of takes like a while for me to get them out. But like once I'm like actually doing it, like I already have like one in the making right now, which I won't say because that's what Ooh. that's what makes the fun of it. Yeah, um, it, it 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 feels like a ride. Like you just go through it. Like you just go through like some dips, and it's like, oh man, yeah, this is getting interesting. And you get out yeah. there, and it's like, oh wow, yeah, it's something. But yeah. I'm I'm starting to get like my um my structure. I'm getting like my whole um, I'm getting I'm, like the the flavor is coming back to me. It's like yeah, I'm trying nice. to get my flow back. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like for like for me, for the longest time I've been thinking like, what other content could I do, other than just like, other than just streaming? Because of course I want to continue streaming for the longest time. It's just you know. I stream on YouTube, and YouTube, the whole point is, you know, to upload videos. So I've been thinking for yeah. a while what content I wanted to make. For the longest time, I said I wanted to mainly do vlogs. Vlogs, yeah. Gaming but the vlogs. more I thought about it, I still want to do vlogs, but I'm thinking about doing skits. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I want to go, I want to go the skit route as well and see what I can do. Uh, yeah, it dude, seems like at and, least one person in the friend group has at least dipped their toes in the skits route. Yeah, yep. so I wanna, I wanna go much. for it. And also, I'm doing, of course, gaming videos, which one is being worked on right now. And I Hell just gotta yeah. hope for the best because with recent stuff that's been happening in the Splatoon 2 community and what I've, and you know, that's like basically what I do mostly on my channel. I wanna try, I still wanna, I'm still gonna like Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. It just, I wanna try some other stuff because the community is kind of. Yeah, eh. it's not in a good state right now. Yeah, it's not in a good state. I'm not saying the community is bad because there's some good people from it that I've met, but like, Jesus, man, what's been happening recently is horrible with the community. So I'm like, I wanna try slowly, a little bit, slowly moving away from it, even though I'm still gonna do it, but like, I want to do something else that could, you know, still help my channel out a lot, and and in I can enjoy doing it as well, and other people can enjoy it as well. So, you know, just yeah. want to try something different. Yeah, that is very nice to hear right there. So pretty much that I guess you could say that's a goal of mine for 2022 or 20 yeah by the end of like 2022 to see if I can dip into other content that I can do. Yeah, see that's what, a pretty good goal. See what can happen. You know what? How about we? Let's just start off with the goals right now. Why not? Since I just mentioned one. Yeah. Gregory, you want to start off with some goals by the end of the year? What do you want to do by the end of the year? All right. I think I think in my last podcast, I think I set a goal, and it looks like I'm probably not going to reach it. I think one of my goals is to hit 1K before the end of 2021. And on this point, I think I might hit it. Maybe my projection. No, no. I'm, I'm going to say right now, you def you're definitely going to hit it from what you're going to with, with what you're doing. All I'm going to say is... You got one more Smash DLC coming out. <laughs> oh yeah, that will basically help me push me. Uh, you just gotta keep streaming Smash Bros Ultimate and Minecraft, Minecraft. and you're good to go, honestly. Yeah, but basically, um, I think I, my projection at this rate, if I'm just, you know, chilling, I think I might hit 1k before, before the end of November, but if something happens, then I might hit it before before the end of October. That's my prediction for when I hit 1K. But my prediction for 2022, if I hit 1K, my goal is to hit at least 1.5K by the end of 2022. All right, that's a good, that's right. a good, that's a good choice. And another thing is I at least get monetized on YouTube. I have to do that. All right, yep, you just gotta keep up the views and stuff, which it looks like you're doing, so. Yep. And also, I gotta do more streams, cause it seems like, it seems like before, five days ago, it seems like I've been on like the stream, like, you know, stream drought. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta keep up them streams, Gregory. Yeah, cause streams is how you get watch hours and shit. Pretty much. And it's fun. 
don't know. I guess my I guess another goal is to like you know once I get monetized, just like get more money so I can like maybe commission some new stuff. That would most definitely be a great idea. And another goal for you? Well, not by the end of 2021, but like try to find a job. Oh yeah, I'll probably yeah. find something. Cause Would you yeah, rather least... work at a retail or a restaurant, like a fast food? All I can say, I don't want to work for my dad. Nothing against him. His job is contracting, and most and like half the time, yes, he does manual labor. And and after doing manual labor for a couple of years for free at some at some times, not like every day or every other week, but just sometimes, just doing manual labor for free. I'm not into that. Hell no. And especially oh. in the Florida heat, nah, 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 nah. Oh, nah. hell nah. Yeah, so, but, all I can say, I just want something maybe simple. Like, maybe working at retail. Maybe at, like, like, a Target or some shit, or a Publix. Yeah, because if you need tips, I'm pretty sure Eggs worked at a Publix before, so you can ask him. Yeah, because, you know, I, I don't want to get a job at the same time. That's really how you survive. So like, I yeah, be, that's you I gotta do it, Gregory. Around my parents' house, not contributing for free, because that's how you easily get kicked out. So uh, unless if your YouTube really does do well, then unless my YouTube does well to the point where I can I can pay stuff like pay my own food and shit, then yeah. So yeah, that's really my goal. You know, and sometime in twenty twenty two, I'll try and get a job. Maybe by May of 2023, when I turn six, 18, I'll try and get a driver's license. And yeah, one more thing. Oh yeah, I accomplished that goal this year. Okay. So and one more thing, my biggest goal: try and meet up with Chain and them this year in Florida. I would say next year. Next year's a more. That's what I'm saying. Higher. That's what I'm saying. Next year. My goal oh, next okay. Year. Okay. Yeah, th definitely next year has a higher chance. But speaking of that, sorry to interrupt your goals, but uh, there has been some failed meetups in the past. It I'm sorry, David, to bring it up again. It, <laughs> and I'm sorry, Dodeca, for bringing it up no, if you're watching. New York. I met him. <laughs> but Dude. David and Dodeca failed a meetup. Bro, uh, let's see. Okay. What else happened? Okay. I didn't know. I don't have data there. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I could have met... Uh, actually, no, that's not true. Um, but yeah, that was one failed meetup, but there could be a possible meetup again. And because Kala said, our friend Kala said that he might go to New York before uh, he goes back to school. So Kala and Dodicia might meet up, and that'll be the first time. And if he and if they do that, that'll be the first time in. The Fun Clan history. Yes, that's our stupid uh, group name. The Fun yep. Clan. Uh, it fits. It fits because we're fun and dumb. We are very fun people. Yeah. We're fun like chum. Yes. Yes. Oh my. And if if they to. meet up, that will make history because that'll be the first ever time two people from that group meet up, excluding me and Iggs and me and Kala because we're IRL friends. Yes. Be nice. Yeah, yeah, it must be nice. Well, Kala, yes, eggs. Greg, you could have. <laughs> hold on, Greg. You could have visited me when you had vacation in North Carolina. Oh. I mean, that was in 2019, and also I actually did DM you. You said you lived in, you know, a town, and I yeah, was don't going say to a it. town. Do you mind if I say what exactly, like, city you live in, or you not? Don't, don't, don't. All right. But he lives I mean, in. Uh, he lives, lives in. in but... Yeah. <laughs> He lives in Clemson. No. Yeah, in the college. The college, Clemson. That's where he's going to, for his medical university. Yeah. Also, but but I actually did DM you about that, Treasure Gamer, when I was doing that back in Thanksgiving of 2019. Uh, you, I think you DM'd I remember. Me the you DM'd me the city you lived in, and it was an hour away from where I was, so it was the You would have done it then. Gregory! Hold on. You failed a meetup! Bro, what do you want me to do, man? Meet up with him. Meet up. Bro, I was like, yeah. just like... get get just get up, just go outside <laughs> and run to that exact person's run. location. Just just run. Just um, don't stop, and then it'll be quicker than an hour. Also, <laughs> me and me and Sal, we also failed to meet up because I DM'd him my location, 
and 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 Sal said that he lived an hour away from me, so it was not possible. Like like Psycho said, you could have ran. <laughs> you could have yeah, ran. You could. probably would have been like seven hours, but you know. Oh, it would be worth it. You would have been. You would have looking like Dwayne the Rock Johnson after that. <laughs> you just need that equipment, man. Got no meat on you. So two benefits: one, you look like Dwayne. Two, you meet Volcano or David. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> I also realized something fun that happened with me during the past year. During the past year, I will, I am now getting more subs, and I now. Oh, bye, David. Uh oh. <laughs> hey! Oh he said, no. He said he has to go. Fuck, man. Fuck. Fuck. All right. Wonder what it could be for. And now there were three. Now, yep. Hey, hopefully we're... the next podcast. Hopefully the next podcast we do, we'll have more yeah. people. Yeah. But right now, one thing that did happen throughout the past year for me, I am now have like a guess a tiny little fan base now because one day I decided to stream Minecraft at 11 p.m. and I decided to self promote on. Oh Street for my fun. god! And then all of a sudden, I got like fucking 34 new subscribers that day and now i have like a tiny fan base that likes that was, when i stream that was the scariest thing Seriously. ever that's your second most popular stream yeah it's so terrifying how that actually worked yeah unfortunately i mean not unfortunately fortunately i should be happy yeah and you gotta keep doing it because it works yes i don't know why People actually listen to people self-promoting on Minecraft servers, but it is what it is. Now you got people some just people watching Minecraft. you now. Yeah. Of yep. Got little, you, got, you just made your army a little bit bigger now. Yep. And now, maybe one day, in 2023, we all go to VidCon or some shit, and then you see a bunch of people going, Oh my god, you're a great 56, can I get your autograph? That one Minecraft YouTuber, wow! You're the guy that self-promoted in Nightpixel, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> One of the most unrealistic things that I think of is just imagine if I become, you know, semi-popular enough to the point where Dream wants me in his M SMP. You, I still you just, just, I still at this point, at this point you, you want to... Yeah, you can go. <laughs> okay, my bad. Uh, I just remembered a, a DM that Greg said as an excuse to not write a diss track. It was like, it was like, okay, so I was about to write the diss track, and then I thought, what if I get too so big to the point where, what if I get so big to the point where everyone recognizes me on the streets, and I'm like, I can't go out anymore. So, okay, so and, here's, and, then, and then here's my idea. Why don't you be like me and just go to the middle of, no, go back to the middle of, like, Georgia or something, wherever the fuck you just went to. <laughs> just live in the forest. Ha just hang around with fucking monkeys. I don't know. <laughs> Swing around like Georgia the monkey you are. Bro. Yeah, go to Santa that has monkeys. I don't, that's just a suggestion. Right, Volcano's there. Right, right, <laughs> but basically, okay. basically, but honestly, even though that sounds very dumb, but like that's kind of like an e irrational fear, I guess. At, I have. at least people won't find you there, or at least will most likely find you on plain sight. Being for real though, that's kind of like an irrational fear I have. Like, like let's say you're popular and you really can't go anywhere because, well, people are just gonna be like, oh my god, you're people are just gonna guy. be. Yeah, honestly, it's like there's just no way out, yeah. Honestly, what I think is worse is when you don't show off your face and you're really big on YouTube. Because, for example, the dream stands are like, oh my god, I wonder what he looks like. And then he, there's like a drawing of him that pops up and it's like, oh my god, okay, so he has blonde hair. Okay, write that down, write that down. Okay, he has bluish green eyes, write that down. Like, it's so scary. I mean, I guess that, no, I feel like that's a good thing because, well, basically, if you're as big as dream and you don't do a face reveal, then, hey, at least you won't be bombarded. But, like... So you'll get like, so you'll get like creepy twelve-year-olds, uh, like hunting down what you look like. That yeah, sounds... that shit can go pretty far. Actually, yeah, that sounds pretty far. But then again, if you show off your face, then people will, like try and track you down or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, you just but, gotta like... be safe out there. But like yeah. I said about that, like you know, like with dreaming shit, like fans, like fans, like I feel like that's another problem. Just like people. They like, when people don't do face reels, they just imagine what they look like, they draw them all hot and shit. But the moment Dream does a face reel and he looks like an average Redditor, then it's it's just over for him. <laughs> oh no! The day Maybe one of those like exactly. huge... The day one of those huge Minecraft YouTubers do a face reveal... God, it's gonna be bad. And I'm not saying, oh my god, they're ugly, they're ugly, but like... Because I don't know what they look like. 
Uh, it just, God, people are going to have their different opinions. and It's, it's, it's just really... the anticipation. It just builds up, and then once something happens, they, 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 they like, all, all of, like, they're thinking, it just went off the roof. They, they just, they just go out of control. Like, they just, they just can't control themselves, really. Yep, it's terrifying. So, good thing I did a face reveal already, so people are like, oh my god, whatever he looks like. Yeah, good thing yeah. I already did a face reveal. I remember, I remember I already showed off my face, and in 2019, people were starting to use it as a meme. And then I was just like, <laughs> what are y'all doing? No, that's not what I want. But then, you know, I did what David did, and what David couldn't do, actually. And that is actually, you know, just, you got used to the fact that I was just going to be memed on. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I get memed on a bit, so I'm kind of used to it. Yeah, but I'm like, you know, like the biggest, like, you know, you're, like joking. You and David are the top. You are, yeah, you guys are the class clowns of, like, the, um. <laughs> yeah, Cyclone's kind of up there, too. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> with, like, the gifts and the pictures of your Discord just crashing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But. Also, Cyclone, now the last part of our big question. What are your goals yes. for, like, 2021 and, like, 2022? Basically? Yeah. Okay. Um, there is a bit on my mind. But, yeah, first, yeah, I just want to bring up something that's a little bit more simpler. And that is, what well, mainly on my YouTube. So, currently, I am, I think I'm at, like, 172. Yeah. I, do, I want to, like, try and get, like, at least more than two videos around that time. And if I get over 200 before the 1st of January of 2022, I'll upload a video that's like a sequel of a past video I've made that's like really big. I.e. either um, the um, that one Greg video or like the water video. I won't tell you which, but it can be either one of those, whatever fits Ooh. best. Because, well, you know, whenever it's a sequel, it's like people are just going to be craving for it. Um, Whoa. number, Yeah. Whoever's watching this video right now. Sub to Cycle, I'm link in the description below. Let's yeah, get him to 200. Well, in the podcast, the link's in the description. Chain, Cycle, True Asian Gamer. Even though he's here for a little bit, but hey, he was still here. Yeah, we all of them. You gotta go subscribe to them all. I'm gonna be grinding my eyes just so I can make stuff that probably makes no sense, but you just go like it no matter what. So, yeah, have fun with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, um, another thing that i want to try and get done as well is also like, per, like begin making music because around like um i guess like my birthday is such i want to get myself um a music making program like um fl studio and like the like it's like it starts off with like 200 dollars of like um just like you know the basic needs and then once that starts happening i'm gonna focus the living shit and like just put all of my time on all that kind of stuff so that like i listen to like so much music i like the ideas, it's like it's like a fucking library. It's like you just go to like a certain aisle, you just you just check one book and it's like, oh wait, let's see this right here. And it's like you know what? Yeah, let's just go with that idea. And if it just goes well, it's like, yeah, you just you just go with the flow. Pretty much like how I would just like um make my videos. It's like with like the um the process, it's like the filming, it's like it's kind of like a little bit whack, but like once you get to the editing, ooh, yeah, your your imagination just kind of just goes wild and such. Mm -hmm. And yeah, those are basically my two biggest goals. I don't exactly have like a, I don't exactly have one for 2022. However, I do have like one for whenever it happens. I do want to start streaming in such a way that kind of parodies of like other streams. It's basically just me just doing other things that streams would probably quote unquote do. Like just a parody, it's like a stream that parodies off other parodies of streams and such. And right, yeah. just talking. Just yeah, just talk. Shit. Yeah, just like do like some Q and A, do like some other stuff, do stuff for people. Like it's like a give and take. It's like a communal thing. It's like we. Yeah. It's like yeah, just help me help you, sort of like thing. You know. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Those are basically my biggest um goals that I want to try and do. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. I like those idea, goals. Though you wanted to make music, thing. What? I always find that very interesting because I remember even back in 2019, I was like, oh my god, cycling like. You, you're like into all these EDM artists and stuff. You should just start yeah. making music already. Exactly. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, I just, I, it's just, there's just so much that I like go into it. It's like, you know what? I've, I've reached to the point where I can just kind of make whatever I want. It's like, I just have like the ideas out. Once I find like something and it's like, all right, that's it. It'll be ready in like, I don't know, in like a week or something. And it'll be like an entire fucking EP. And it's like, yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. Get that out there. And besides, it's kind of funny as well. It's like once I actually start professionally making music, 
I can probably start helping out some of our people or even bring in like some people to collabo. Like let's say like um how we would like do it's let's say like how we would like remake like a um like that one Mendez diss track or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Except, yeah, I would it's like I'd like it's like I'd make like the beat, you and then it's like it's like the same it's it's like I, mean, I don't know if it's like the same cast, but we'll get like a certain amount of people in, maybe myself, but I don't know. Cause it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like if I'm gonna know how to mix, I'm I'm gonna make sure to mix it right, Greg. But yeah, Tommy, yeah. Tommy with but Greg's again, phone on yo. Yeah. My excuses. That was back in 2019. I did not know how to mix stuff, and plus, Tommy's verse being longer than expected kind of threw off the whole thing. So like, you know. But, yeah. Maybe, and the fact that you used your phone. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know how to download shit. Because I, oh my god. Like, even at like even at like age like what 15 or 14. It's I didn't know, even at like I don't know age 15. I didn't know how to do like basic shit. Right. Yeah. You must have been focusing on a lot of other things besides like the simplest things. Like what what were you thinking during that time? Like try to put two discs <laughs> in like an Xbox or something. <laughs> yeah. When I was nine, so. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Same thing. I, oh like, my you know, god. Back then, I did not know how to edit on the computer. Luckily, I found an editor, but I did not know how to, you know, buy it, not buy, it, but use a free editor software that did not include a watermark. Like, for example, you got Adobe Premiere, which Adobe, they love to market their stuff as like $300 like per year. Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but fuck them. But. Yeah. Adobe, yeah, honestly, yep. fuck Adobe. <laughs> yeah, because I even saw that they were trying to go all go. Where, where they even, where you even have to pay to cancel their thing? Like the fuck? That's so dumb. That's okay, so dumb. yeah, sure. Adobe guys, that's an actual trap. It's like, how? Wait, what? what the f uh, I, yeah, I don't know. This is why everybody pirates Adobe, Adobe, Adobe crap. I don't think Sony does that with their Vegas program. Like the fuck? No yeah. way. Like I said, this is why everyone pirates Adobe crap. Yep. But, but, yo, that, that is very interesting. I'm glad that, you know, we all share these. I even joked with Psycho once that, like, saying that once he becomes, like, this big, like, EDM artist, like, I don't know, big as Marshmallow or some shit, people are gonna look up his old stuff, and then he, they're gonna find his verse on my Mendez diss track. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, wow, he was part of that thing. How, how did he become this person? It's like, <laughs> it was just like some random kid, and it's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I've done like, that. This before. random kid. All I can say is this. Like, I I wrote everything, including Tommy and Cyclone's verse. I literally gave Cyclone just, like, stuff I had written down and say, yo, rap this, and then he sent me the audio, and then, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember I rapped that part. I actually kind of felt proud of my, my rapping during that Honestly, time, I mean, you already know. Yeah. And then Gregory synced it up. And then, <laughs> quote unquote. And then Cyclone. Quote unquote. Not Cyclone. Cyclone's bar was actually fire. It's just Tommy. It just did not sound the greatest. It was way too fire. It was, it was way, way, way too, too fire. fire. It burned down his entire house. Yeah, it, it was so fire, Gregory couldn't. It, it like, the, just the audio file corrupted and it caught on fire. So he had to literally use his phone to put it up to the microphone and record it like that. Yeah. That's yeah. how fire it was. Yeah, and also my favorite part was when Tommy compared Mendez to a cucumber. Oh my goodness! Oh my God, I, I knew that was a Gregory line. I knew that was a Gregory line, but just hearing Tommy say it was really funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> you would not expect Tommy to say that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Anyways, oh wait, Gregory, you continue, continue. Yo, I feel like one thing that also happened this year is just. Just Iggs insanity, just like my god. Oof. Yeah, I don't and know before, where. Yeah. Before we get into that, I want to talk because I want to mention my goals real quick. Oh wait, oh, yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Oh shit. No, I did not. I mentioned like one, oh. and that was. Yeah, it's got more. Yeah. What was what was my goal that I mentioned already? Oh yeah, like my sub goal, which like about to hit three k, which is obviously still my goal for this year, which it looks like I'm gonna hit it. Um, I just gotta keep streaming, but who knows with college and stuff. Um, Good. other goals, I want to start uploading videos. Uh, cause like I said already, I want to do skits, of uh, vlogs, gaming videos, and stream at the same time. So obviously, I want to start doing videos. Um, another thing, or well, a goal that I've accomplished was collab, when I said I wanted to collab with more people. And I did! So I pretty much accomplished that goal. Um, what else, what else? 
uh, a goal for 2022, not 2021, but a goal for 2022 is to uh, at least meet one person from the friend group here. Yeah, and hopefully one of those is actually me. Hopefully I'll actually learn how to drive. Now, now I know how to control a car, but like actually, you know, get a driver's license and actually drive up and meet you since we live we live in the same state so it's possible we're probably the closest people that live definitely well, like the closest people other than like you know me and iro me and like eggs and me and kala yeah and i think but, the, like, and the farthest away that the farthest tommy away that I can think <laughs> and the deca is the farthest people in the friend group away that i can actually think of is like chain and tommy me yeah <laughs> Yeah, because you live in Miami and Tommy lives in Seattle. Far? Yeah, far. Like, away. From you? No, from uh, from each other in the friend group. Oh, from everybody. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, from <laughs> you? I'm like, bro, it's like... <laughs> no, no, not from like, me. I can literally drive up there right now. Okay, but from everybody, <laughs> yes. I, I, I agree with that. And you could pretty much say New York, too, because Dodeca. Yeah, and that's like, like a far. Seattle, you have to drive across the country or fly across the country. Yeah, you have to start flying. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta gotta rely on them airplanes. But hey, and now Iggs is moving to Tallahassee because of his college. Yeah, damn, he's going to the same right. college as my cousin. Holy shit. That's cr uh, that's crazy. <laughs> um, I know another friend that's going to Tampa for college. Oh, sure. Oh shit! Is yeah. He really, wait, is he going Ooh. to USF or? Yes, sir. Oh my god! You know Very that's sick. where he's going. Uh, and yeah, those are pretty much. And then I, and then Patch, she's going to college in Boston. So yeah, a lot of people that I know are starting to move away. Yeah. Which is sad. It but hey, it reminds me of a bit of like a dynasty sports team all like breaking apart from each other. It's so sad to see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mendezes are going to Louisiana. Uh, let's see. Who else is leaving? FDP is staying. Uh, Eggs is still in Florida, but he's moving, like, across Florida. Um, Termo's moving. Uh, Dynamite's staying. Um, I'm trying to think who else is. Kala's staying. Please tell me EJ West is still staying in Jacksonville. He's, like, two years old. He's staying in Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and yeah... Kevin Omar is still staying, but still I need to hang out with them because it's been like a million years since I've last seen them. I wasn't I haven't heard much of them really. Yeah, but yeah, I miss them. They're too funny. Yeah. But, and an another goal that I reached this year that I'm proud of, which I was not expecting to get this year either, because I'm afraid of it. But I got my driver's license. Nice. Which is very cool. So yeah, now. Now, one thing that I also need to learn is, you know, just learn how to drive on my own from, like, far distances and stuff like that. Because yeah. I want to try doing road trips and stuff. Yeah, because one day, because I probably might drive to Miami, but someday you have to drive to Tampa in order to meet me. Yeah. And then Needles California Cyclone can fly all the way to Washington to say hi to Tommy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, also something I realized, um, I remember for the longest time I said I lived south of Tampa, but in actuality, I actually live far north of Tampa, so that is <laughs> yep. cool. Also, I want to mention something, like Shane, you said that, you, you, were, you said you were scared of driving, right? Like, yep. not gonna lie, I didn't understand that at first, I always liked, you know, driving cars as a kid, but one day I was like, yo, we, yo, dad, we gotta go out of practice, I'm in the mood, and then I actually control the thing and it was the scariest thing ever and now i'm ne I, yeah. I never want to yeah do everything's that. on you yeah driving in florida's <laughs> yeah it's just I, I it's just like the controlling that thing is like fucking hard as hell it's like it's like and it's also it's not one of those things where you can like slip up if you slip up you might die <laughs> but yeah. thankfully i'm used to it thankfully i'm i'm starting to like lose that fear a little bit because i'm getting used to more of the controls hence i passed my driving test and I have my license now. But, uh, yeah. But one of the things I want to do, or one of the things me and Iggs want to do, because we've been planning it, uh, around some time, maybe winter break, uh, I go to Tennessee, or Tallahassee, my bad, go meet up with Iggs, and then we drive down to Tampa and say hi, Gregory J. Yeah. 
Yes. That's yes. our plan. And then, and then me and Chain can finally have that one v one. Yep, yep, finally. And then that I could finally achieve my goal in 2022, meeting an online friend in a, which is very cool. Yes, I and just so friendly reminder. I remember back in 2019 when I said that we are all meeting up in 2021. Oh my, have that age no. Oh, thanks, COVID. Yeah. Thank you. You're still going around. Jesus. And hopefully by 2022, everyone just forgets about it. That will that most that likely is, happen. That is very hard to believe. Hey, but think about this. The vaccine already came, it came out faster than expected, so. Yeah, and it's yeah, working, but... too. It's Well, majority of it is working. Like, for me, it's been working pretty well. Yeah, it worked for me, besides, besides that part where when, the moment I went up to George, I all of a sudden, like, had a very bad cough, so. Yeah, but that's that's what usually happens when you get the vaccine. You just get really sick, because that's what happened to Iggs. So. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that is all, you know, very interesting, because... 2022. Listen, I said 2021, it's going to be like a movie. But when I say 2022 is going to be like a movie, I mean it's going to be like a movie. And 2023, that's when we're all meeting up. That's when everyone's meeting up. Instead of just, we're mo we're meeting in-state, you know, online friends. Nah, <laughs> we're going to meet everyone. I'm going to meet Cyclump. Chain's going to meet Tommy. <laughs> Kyle is going to meet Dodeca. He might already do that. This we might already do that, like, soon. But... I don't know. MGJR might meet Dota. MGJR. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring that little one over. <laughs> you gotta bring him. Come on, eggs. All the way from South Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> Every, it's I like love everyone. How... We all we all gotta meet up at one specific place, like a VidCon or some shit. Yeah, like the people where majority of us are are in from. Oh crap! How do I say this? Like the state that like. A majority of us live in from in the friend group is Florida, and like the second and like the second most is like Texas. But yeah, like Florida, it has me, Gregory, Iggs, Kala, uh, and yeah, and some other people that you want to mention as well. But those are like the main four, and then Texas has Yu Gi Oh and uh, Yu Gi Oh and Joker because Joker is a part of the group again, which is very cool. And then everybody else, like, it's just one person. Like, Cyclone, California, uh, let's see, Tommy, Washington, Dodeca, New York, MGJR, South Carolina, David, North Carolina. So it's, like, different. But I like how a majority of it is different. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to travel. Because yes. I like traveling, honestly. Like I said, not when Cope. Y'all gonna be up in one place, and that is probably some, probably either VidCon or E3, or we might meet up at some com random convention in Florida, like Comic Con Florida or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> whenever that big. actually happens, we better do something big, like something that like just. Yeah. We all gotta do a huge pickup basketball tournament, like a one v one tournament. I sure. hope that at first, like. When I started getting into the group, I was like kind of skeptical about you know meeting people. But now the more that I've like grown, I definitely want to yeah. meet people because y'all are cool, Very especially cool. MGJR. Yeah, that little yeah. one. And then we got the little MGJR. one. <laughs> the, the little one. <laughs> <laughs> but that'd be great. And I, I remember Tommy messaged Psycho about meeting up, and Psycho was like, "Hell no!" No, he wasn't hell no, but he's like, "Maybe." Yeah. I forgot what I forgot what that was about, but <laughs> I remember that. that. Was about <laughs> eh, it was just that, like, mainly because, like, the fact that, like, let's say, like, um, like, let's say, like, he were like to stop at like L.A. because he did say that he stopped at L.A. and he asked me like, the question about like meeting up. Like the fact that like, from there to like Neos, it's like oh, it's like from yeah. like the drive, it's like three to four hours, and the heat like can just fucking like kill a man like seriously like you yeah. just, it's, i don't know oh, i just feel God. like it wasn't worth it because it's like jeez it's like unless and, you're like flying which that wouldn't matter it's like i don't think it's worth it really I feel like and the I traffic feel like and the traffic too yeah traffic in like la and like onwards it, it's it's stupid it's yeah. stupid does so tommy i've heard <laughs> not, does tommy like not know that cyclone moved out of la or like don't know <laughs> I mean, he mainly went to, like, LA for, like, vacation, but, like, he did, like, he stopped there, and then he asked me the question. Because, like, he, someone, yeah. like, one of, like, those days, he's like, here, we're, like, come over, and then, yeah, go back. 
Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, just meeting up would be very fun. And yeah, like hopefully 2023 we could all meet up because that'd be very cool. Like if we, you know, because probably around that time we might all have jobs. Uh, you know, YouTube might do well for some of us. Uh, we'll see what happens. Just and like, we'll be able to afford stuff. Yeah, like, like maybe we all meet up somewhere, like, like Los Angeles or Orlando. Uh, even not go. Los Angeles. Not, not Los not Angeles. Los. No, yeah, don't go yeah. there. Don't go yeah. there. Oh, yeah, on. too much traffic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell well, no. Like, let's say we only walked. Would it be? Would that be like you know better or worse? Way too hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got that bus. I even heard horror stories from cycling about LA so I, yeah now that I think about it I think I'm good yeah, yeah like if, if we were to meet up somewhere like hmm what would be a nice place like I don't know like Universal or some shit <laughs> I don't know maybe yo we can go to Universal in, in Florida that would be nice that, that yeah that's a meet that would be yeah even though I am afraid of roller coasters how you afraid you know? of roller coasters you think you're about to fall off cause I'm afraid of heights oh I've recently been yeah. trying them, man. It's like it's it's like really fucking sweet. Cause I remember when I when I was like little, like I went to like knots or something. I've tried like one of like the more tamer ones, and I was still like scared, like like scared shitless. But like recently, when I went to like Las Vegas to like go to like that one um that one roller coaster and like that one um I forgot what it was called. I think it was like the Adventure Dome. They had like the Canyon like Blaster or something. That was like the first time I went on like an actual coaster and like. It, despite it being terrifying, I really like the thrill of it. So it's like, yeah, it's like going to like place like Universal to like try like some big rides. It's like, ooh, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, but well, it's weird because for me, I don't know why I prefer water slides other than roller coasters. Honestly, and like big, I'm big that too. Lie, same. Yeah, yeah. Those are I don't know. So hey, maybe we could go to a water park in Universal instead. I'm down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm down. Hey. Universal just opened that volcano resort thing. The water. Hell yeah, I went there. Oh, I yeah. went there. Oh, that I was never great. went there, cool. but I did remember when it first opened. That shit was like packed for like at least a year. Oh yeah, yeah. but but hey, I'm down to go go swimming over there because I love swimming. Oh, yeah. I also remember <laughs> like I I remember. I remember the FGTV family actually tried to go to the Volcano Water Resort, and they actually oh had to, my they actually had to cancel it because they actually had to cancel it and go to the Disney Water Park because it was literally at full capacity. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ooh. Probably not at full capacity anymore because you know COVID. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know, probably probably right before COVID, it was probably still at full capacity. Yeah, but I remember I remember I went there and it was pretty fun. Like, the slides were fun, but I don't- it's weird. I- I just prefer water slides over roller coasters. I don't know why, but I enjoy water slides. Alright. And I'll- and if we're down to go- to go to, like, Volcano Bay in, like, 2024, 2023, I'm down. I'm down. We just gotta get jobs. (laughs) We gotta get jobs for that money, and then we're good. about- about your- a, a fear of heights. I know how to conquer it. Well, not conquer it. It'll make you more scared, but you know what I'm about to do? We about to go to what? Tampa, Bush Gardens, I'm about to take you on Falcon Fury. Oh, Fury. hell no. Nah. <laughs> Do you know Falcon Fury at Bush Gardens? No, but I know Bush Gardens. <laughs> okay, but Falcon Fury, it's as tall as the Empire State Building. It drops Ooh, yeah. by, at its very tippy top. It, like, faces you towards the ground, like, face first. And the only thing... Good one, Gardner. Good one. Good one. Oh, you, shit. The only thing supporting you is... It's the little like things that that like held over like your things while on roller coasters. The safety, the, safety. <laughs> the hold over that hold over your things. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 things that go over your upper body. You know what I'm talking about, right? The chicken sandwiches, right? Yeah, those. Like the little seat things, like like the ones that hold you down. Yes, the bars, the bars, yes, bars. Yeah, the only thing that holds you back, <laughs> shoulder bars, a thousand feet is a bar. Is the bar. Oh, it's no, always I, hard. I think that'll definitely scar me even more. <laughs> I remember I looked at that and I was like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. One wrong slip and it's over for me. <laughs> Just one, 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 wrong, one wrong error and it's done. But, but the ride's fun, actually. So, yeah, I'm going oh, yeah. to gonna force you to go on that one if we meet up at Bush Gardens. Good one, Gregory. I'm going to stay as far away from Bush Gardens as possible. <laughs> Okay, 
And Greg, all right, anyways, move on from that topic because it was very fun talking about it. Hopefully we do it, though, eventually, because that would be actually amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, hey, everybody, whoever's watching this video, you know, we got, you know, I'm going to mention everybody. Corn Rice, Dodeca, freaking Monk, Joker, uh, let's see, Psycho Imp, Thomas Pita, Gregory, Iggs, Sora, Kala, uh, Tommy, Nick Alonzo, why not? Hanzo, uh, freaking Prince Herb, MGJR, Dino Man, Kev, Omar, uh, Tag, um, Sleepy Pancake, Yu Gi Oh! Let's go! Let's all meet up, Volcano Bay 2023. Let's make it yes. happen. It'll happen. Let's make it happen. Yeah, we're all going. You down, Psych Wimp? Because I'm down. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm almost on a thrill seeker. I mean, why wouldn't I? Yeah. Hell yeah. And I want to meet people. That'll be fun. Yeah, because the last thing I want to do is to go to an amusement park and then motherfuckers like, no, I don't want to ride any roller coasters. I'm afraid of heights. Like, shut your bitch ass up. Why are you here then? It's like, why? why? Yeah, that's it's like, why, why else you here? That's why I want to go to a water park. <laughs> And not a not a theme, and not like a roller coaster theme park, because I wouldn't go on any of them shits. But water park, I would go on. Yeah. But damn, the, I, I'm actually really excited for that to happen. Like I'm already yeah now. Yeah. Just thinking about it makes it makes me excited. <laughs> yeah. Like. So I hey, just, we just gotta we just gotta work hard, and then yeah, it'll yeah, happen. We gotta work hard. One of us will probably roll up <laughs> off YouTube, and yeah. All right, right. Keep doing Steven Universe content. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> Just who make knows? Sure maybe you don't use footage from the show. Oh yeah, please. And maybe my VR chat video will blow up. We'll see. Yeah, and maybe Cyclone. He can do skits, and then Saturday Night Night Live will will sign him. Oh up. no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, Julian Fallon. When are you gonna bring me over? Julian Fallon. <laughs> They can ask him to do like an Among Us skit. I don't know. Oh no! It'll make him a lot of money, but God, is it worth it? Is it worth the money? I don't know. What if, yeah. what if they pay you like a hundred thousand dollars to do the skit? Would you do it? I would say no, honestly. If it was for Among Us, I would say no. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna go cry in a shower, eat some ice cream. I'll be right back. <laughs> if that's the skit, then I'll do it. If it's just me being sad about Among Us being a thing, then yes, I'll do it. Oh, that's but if so it's me, easy. Like, but if it's me, like actually dressing up as a crewmate, then you'll see, you'll see, I'll see, you'll, see, you'll see me in hell rather than this that. Jesus right. Christ! Damn, that is gonna be very interesting. And this whole thing, you know, one thing that that taught that touched in my mind, but I really rather not go down that hole is what's gonna be what's gonna happen to all of us. Like, let's say past twenty twenty seven. Like, I that sounds scary. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, hopefully, well, obviously, the thing we hope for is that we're all thriving, we're all doing yes. good, we've all met up around that time, it's having a grand old time, that's the hope. Yep, and but, we'll yeah. probably still be in medical school. Oh, God. Sheesh. But, like, you know, hopefully or, the good or, stuff. best case scenario, David, he becomes a top nurse in, in the country, and now he's wide renowned. Yeah, I mean, hey. Let's just, we just gotta hope for the best. Because we think, think if we happen. don't think, if we don't think positive, then nothing good's gonna happen. Yeah, but like, I don't want to touch anything past 2027, because that's scary. I want, I'd rather look into a couple years from now, like 2023. Yeah, 2023, yeah. which is what, right now, let's see, on the date we, on the date we made this video, October, uh, I said October, August 9th, 2021. At 11.58 p.m. where I am. 11 11 48 p.m where i am we have claimed that we will meet everybody well majority of people in the group a good majority of the group will meet up in 2023 that's what we say will it be delayed because of another goddamn pandemic we'll never know we'll never know because we, we we me and gregory certainly didn't know <laughs> when co that covid would happen so we'll see yeah, just, we'll just thanks a lot to the virus, because if it wasn't for that, well... The best friend. Yeah. Thanks, COVID. We love you, too. Yeah. Well, hey, the only thing I think COVID for is for, like, helping me survive 12th grade. Yeah. Oof. But thank God for COVID, because it gave us that super-ass, long-ass summer break, so...
That's true. But other Indeed. than that, you know, COVID was there. Yeah, but then again, but hey, COVID it's dying also down. introduced us to... It really introduced us to some very toxic people, especially summer of last year, so... We don't Ugh. talk about that. We don't talk yeah, about no. that. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, that was already discussed enough. Especially since Cyclone is here. We're not talking about that. I was, <laughs> not, even yeah. about, I was not even gonna talk about what you're thinking of, so... <laughs> okay, good. I was just talking about, you know, what was happening in the world in summer of 2020. That was already... Yeah. Crazy. But, you know, we gotta talk about Iggs acting weird lately. Why like, does Iggs act like a guy named <laughs> Sixth Grader? <laughs> An actual circus clown he is. <laughs> God, dude, this he, is uh, he decided, it, it, he thought it was funny to post a dick pic as a joke. And then when he gets fucking kicked for it, he tries to rejoin the server like he did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my god. And then he posts a video of a little like hamster getting flushed down a toilet. <laughs> oh my a, goodness. A live one. Yeah. And then this, this image yeah. right here. Yeah, then there's an image he presented on the 18th of July 2021. Is, I can't say it. I like, can't actually, say I'm it. I'm not saying it, but it's just, it. all I can say is some, it's just Iggs being black. They photoshopped him black. Yep. Like, why the fuck would yep. they do that? Why would you do that? I mean, whose fantasy is to just be the oh, opposite race? Right. <laughs> hey, hey, man, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hey, we're doing the podcast right now. Anything you got to say for yourself? Yeah, so basically, uh, I was just too busy, you know, doing other shit that I couldn't join the podcast. So, okay, well, uh, it's, do we, well, Greg, do we have to recap what happened? Like, do we have to mention? You know, let's, let's just recap. Okay, Eggs. Do you have any goals that you want to reach by the end of 2021 or any goals for 2022? Do you have any that you'd like to share for the podcast? Um, I would like to... Uh, nice! Uh, uh, stream uh, more! Stream more! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I would like to stream more. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> What's happening to you? Why did freaking glitch trap just come in and <laughs> interrupt Iggs? Jesus. Yeah. That's it. And, and and um, go to a lot of parties in college. Oh, have fun with that. Iggs. Okay. Yeah. Have fun with that, Iggs. Have yeah. fun with that. And Iggs, twenty twenty two. We or not twenty twenty two. Like twenty twenty three. Packs. We going to packs. Packs, we're maybe that would be we're meeting, up, we're meeting up at Volcano Bay in 2023. Hell yeah. yeah. Is that, is that, that what, what we're doing? There's some amazing yeah, that, that's Hell I, yeah. that, I claimed it today. Uh, said October fucking again. <laughs> August 9th, 2021 is the day I claimed where... Let me recap, everybody. Corn Rice, BB Awesome, Psycho Ump, Monk, <laughs> Joker, Dodicia, Thomas Pita, Elijah Marshall, BTS Iggs. Uh, Sora, Kala, Hanzo, Tommy, Nick Alonzo, why not? Uh, Sal, <laughs> MGJR, Dino Man, Kev, Omar, Tag, uh, Sleepy Pancake, and Yu-Gi-Oh! We all meet up in Volcano Bay. Or, or a good majority cool. of us. A good yeah. majority of us do good that. Good majority. That's Let's the plan. Go. 2023. If there isn't another, like, pandemic that happens. Yeah. <laughs> But in 2022, eggs, or maybe late 2021, we got to do the plan where I fly over or drive over to Tallahassee. I meet up with its eggs, yeah. and then we drive down to Tampa yeah. to meet up yes. with Gregory and Turmoil. I like that plan. Yeah, we got to do that because I'm down for that. Maybe Whatever. winter break. Termo can meet the person that he dissed in real life. Yeah, oh my god. Yes. Oh, that was a long while ago. Yeah. Yo, I can finally, I can finally figure out why does Turmoil look like I got him Redditor, so... Um, oh my god. But yeah, that would be fun. Guess what, we could do a live rap battle, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh my that, god. Now, Gregory, you gotta link Ig's channel in the description below now. Yeah. <laughs> Special guest for like five minutes. Well, hey, you did. You got to share some stuff, and Ray oh, got yeah. to share like a little bit of stuff. Yeah, I did. Hell yeah. Here a Speaking bit. of Ray, shout out to him for getting a new one thousand five hundred dollar PC. Thank you, good. Hey, it actually good. streams well. It's good. It just his Wi-Fi is ass. Yeah. 
Where is he streaming? The middle of nowhere in Georgia? Like, come on. Georgia. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Actually, uh, I get he's, it. Streaming. he's streaming for my rental. He's streaming for my rental. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that was oh, garbage. Yeah, that. <laughs> that was really funny, though, because he was like, Oh, my God. Why is it not right in my streams? <laughs> <laughs> that was those were good times. Gregory's rental had some good memories there. Yeah, it, even though I only lived there for like a few months, it did produce some iconic stuff, like like the Prince Charming rant. <laughs> oh my Ugh. god! <laughs> also, something that actually happened this year, I moved into my new house. Oh yeah, you did. That was yeah. Like, are, oh yeah, you should you should talk about it. What are your thoughts on the new house? All right, so basically. So, no red walls, not good. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Okay, so small timeline. So back, you know, so basically going back all the way to 2018, my family was thinking about just moving out to a new house. They were actually planning, we were actually planning on moving out in 2018, but then some complications pushed it back to 2020. So then in 2020, they actually built the house, but you know it was gonna take a while. So we moved out to a rental in November. Moved out of the iconic red wall, black ceiling house, very sad, but... No! We did look at the rental, which did produce some pretty funny, pretty funny moments, but it also had many downfalls, like for example, the shittiest internet, but... <laughs> Say that again. But, but starting in March, March of 2021, I finally moved in to my brand new house, and, yes! and honestly, there are pretty much flaws with it, but it is an enjoyable house. But is it better than the red wall black ceiling house? Hell nah. But is it great? Yes. Well, there you have it. What are your favorite parts about the house? Uh, my favorite part about the house is, of course, my, my room. <laughs> but yeah, great. But basically, great. there's actually really not really that many favorite parts of the house. Because my favorite part of the red wall black ceiling house is definitely the pool area with the pool and jacuzzi. And the upstairs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember he turned on his face cam for when he was in the jacuzzi, and that was really funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Good I times. Even, I even posted about it on my Instagram. Yeah, I mostly heard from your Insta. Yeah. That was, right. that was very interesting. And right now, my family is even think My dad, he kind of wants, wants to put a hot tub in the backyard. So, maybe. Yeah. But. Eventually, the time will come when that comes. But right now, sometimes I just sit around and think, "Damn, I actually live here, and not the red wall, black ceiling house." Well, yeah, at least it's good, though. Like yeah. you said, yeah. I think I think my dad said that if they were actually going to sell the house, it would cost seven hundred fifty thousand to, to like to sell. Ugh. Like all not right. like spending all the money, but like the money we would get back in return. Front chat. Wait. So yeah, we, so if we sell the house... <laughs> Yo, my computer just froze. <laughs> uh, froze. Uh, do you uh -oh. have to get that, that David computer now? I need to get the David PC. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the, get the pre-built one. Yeah, you're all set. Yeah. You're all set. But like I said, okay. if I were to sell the house, our family would get back $750,000, so that's fun. But we're not planning on moving out anytime soon because we just built a new house, but yeah. Yay. Well, I don't know about well hey, at least you live closer to uh, 7-Eleven. Oh, yeah, but also, I think, I don't know about you, but I feel like every time I have a dream now, by X. There you go. There goes X. I feel like every time I, have a, every time I had a dream now, ever since I moved out of the original Redwall Black Ceiling House, every time I have a dream, it's always in the Redwall Black Ceiling House. It's never anywhere else, not even my current house, so I don't know what's up with that. Like, is my brain playing mind games with me or some shit? No, yeah, Gregory, just... There's just too much mad in your head, so you just gotta get that cleaned mad. out. Yeah. <laughs> I remember before yeah. I moved out the Red Wall Black Ceiling House, I wasn't too sad because I thought in my head, one day, sometime, sometime in the future, just one day, I'll buy this house and live in it again. Yeah. Yo, Gregory's buying back the red wall black ceiling house. That's just gonna go be back his, there. Come on. That's gonna be his office room. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's gonna be my bedroom, and I'm gonna repaint it red wall black ceiling. Yeah. Let's go. Case, you gotta do it. The people there didn't, didn't paint it over, but it, but they most likely painted it over. Yeah. And it and 
like, and like and if you go to a if you go to a different house entirely you still gotta make your office or bedroom red walls black ceiling oh, you yeah. just gotta do it purposely you just gotta do it purposely yes and no matter what house i'll go to the one thing i'll always be there is Steelers country yeah, yeah. let's go our favorite our favorite Steelers country is is our is always our country yeah yeah like like damn like it actually kind of hit like i feel like in a first time in a few months i feel like within the last month or so i feel like it finally hit me that like this is actually my home actually so like you know it's not the red wall black ceiling like because it feels like the red wall black ceiling was so recent but now i'm starting to realize that it's about to be a year since i moved out yeah it's kind of one of those things where a person dies and you and you just like in in like you just kind of you just rethink it. You're still alive, like for example, I think it took me a long while for it took me a long while for for me to process that Juice World actually died. I keep thinking that he was still alive, especially his posthumous album. And I remember, and I remember it actually took me a full year for me to actually process that Etika was actually dead. So yeah, that, oh, yeah, I still can't believe it. It's crazy. You never know what could happen, man. Just hopefully one thing that I will one thing that I really wish doesn't happen I hope nobody in this friend group by 2023 actually kills himself because that is not what I want I think we're good yeah. I yeah. think we're good I don't think yeah. we have to worry about that because mm -hmm. I think I think we're smart <laughs> yeah we're hopefully. smart enough no I don't think I know that we're smart enough yeah that's right because we know we can make things better. There's always a way. Because I remember I was struggling in 11th grade, like, a lot. And I was, like, really stressed. Well, just like anybody else. But then I managed to, you know, make it better. With, you know, just doing YouTube and stuff. And just doing other stuff to, you know, calm myself down. Damn. Uh, so that's why when you first started streaming, you sounded like you had depression. Yeah. Yeah. Either that or I was just always tired, but I don't know. probably both. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's so. But, it's honestly, honestly, in my opinion, it's actually pretty crazy to just go back to your your streams from even like from like two years ago, from like let's say it, even in summer of twenty nineteen. Like, like if I go back to your old streams, you're not energetic. You're like, hey guys, so we're just we're just playing Splatoon two today, and oh nice, I got that kill right there. Let's go. Oh hello, person in the chat, how are you doing? It's like, bro, like, bro, you good? Like, yeah. Thankfully, I've you know one thing I thank YouTube for changed me as a person. Uh, helped me you know come out of my shell a little bit more. I met a lot of cool people from it, even though some of those people have gotten exposed in the past. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, cause even though that does happen, uh, I still have a lot more other people that are cool, so. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, thanks YouTube.com for once, even though your website is questionable, thank you. Yes. For possibly, for possibly giving me a career and something that I could enjoy. Yeah, all I can say, sometimes, like, sometimes YouTube can be a problem, but most of the time it's fairly fun to see especially as with like sometimes you can see character develop sometimes within stuff like last year but that's all i can say but basically i started youtube in 2015 because i accidentally created a youtube account while trying to comment and then you know i basically i basically said oh wait i can actually upload whatever i want so i uploaded basically whatever and then by the time and then by 2017 i believe that's when i started to slow down and then by yep, and that's when you made your your last video was like big announcement video, and that was <laughs> that was like the last like major upload that you did. Oh yeah. And then and then you kind of slowed down, and then you, Smash Ultimate came out, and you did like a little bit of Smash videos. Oh yeah. I, I, and I, then I want to mention that actually, like, like so basically, like before my big announcement video, I think my last major announce my last major video actually was like probably like my I think I'm like looking back at it. I feel like before so that, my the last major video was like the the Pixels by Night Discord shutting down. My god. <laughs> so again we've you recorded that. But I wasn't even I wasn't even on the Discord server at that time. 
Yeah, and for I'm obvious gonna... reasons, because I was dumb, yeah. and I still hate myself to this and day that I did that. But hey, also, past is the past. Yeah, and also before the Pixel by Night server shut down, um, my last major video was actually Googly on on Cartoon Network. Oh my God! Then I just Jesus. Did stuff here and there, and then my big video was big announcement, slow down. But then I got Smash Bros. Uploaded. Three videos, and then I uploaded Incineroar versus Zelda, Chain Chomping versus me, and that video actually got some traction, and that basically convinced me, yo, I should actually do YouTube. That shit, this shit's looking nice. So I did. And that was the uh, best idea you've had, and here you are, a couple years later, almost about to hit 900. Yep. And now here I am. I in, throughout the entirety of 2019, I uploaded nothing but Smash content and other content, and Mario Super Sluggers content, which also helped me a lot. And, yeah, that's basically really it, honestly. Like, yeah, and speaking of that, I just want to go to the topic of, like, how we all came to be in this friend uh, group. Like, how we all... Oh, yeah. Pixels by Night. Of course, thank you, Pixels by Night, for inspiring you know, me. I have I have three main inspirations on YouTube, and I've, I've been thinking about this for a while. I've had three main inspirations. I've had a big YouTuber, uh, a smaller YouTuber, and an online friend. The big YouTuber, CND. The small YouTubers Pixels by Night and the online friend is Tommy. Those are the three people that helped inspire me to do content creation. And here I am today because a majority of the people in this group I met through Pixels by Night. Awesome. Like, let's see. My opinion, my thing is that, like, we're gonna, I feel like we're gonna spend a lot of time on this because me and Shane, we just decided to talk about it randomly at like two in the morning and we didn't stop to like four. So, yeah, well, we'll make it, we'll try to make it quick, but hey. Uh, we all got to start it off with, uh, this was before I started streaming, this was when I got back to Pixels by Night, uh, this is when I started getting back into Pixels by Night back in, like, 2017, uh, yeah, 2017, when Splatoon, yeah, when Splatoon 2 just came out, and it was, and, and it all started when I got a random friend request after I joined that random stream on Pixels Twitch, um, and that friend request was none other than Star Mario 3 4th Star Trademark. My so he just, so he just randomly sent me a friend request after that Pixel stream. And I'm like, you know what, I, I'll accept it, why not? And then the day, and then a couple days after, Nintendo Switch Online came out, the app. And I wanted to try the voice, uh, like the voice chatting. So I invited this one random guy that sent me a friend request on that same day. And, and, uh, Tommy. And then we just started talking through Nintendo Switch Online. So Tommy's pretty much the first online friend I've ever made. <laughs> and I still talk to him to this day. It is very cool. It is very uh, cool. So yeah. So yeah, thanks to Pixels by Night, I I became friends with Tommy. And then, uh, ever since then, I've just been starting to watch Pixels by Night more and more and more. And also, I remember, this is like my first time using Twitch in a long time. And it was just on that random day when I just stumbled on, like, Pixel's channel when Tommy sent me a friend request. If Pixel was never live on Twitch that day, I probably would have never got back into his community. Which is the craziest thing. So if Pixel was, like, which, and I always like thinking about this stuff. Because on that day, I was on his YouTube channel, I'm like, oh, he has a Twitch? I clicked on his Twitch. If he was never live on the day where I clicked on his Twitch, the whole timeline would be different. But here we are. Here we are. So I just, I just like thinking about that. I find that crazy. So yeah, Tommy, me and Tommy kept talking on Nintendo Switch Online. The other guy slowly started leaving the group. Uh, but uh, me and Tommy kept talking. Pixel, I introduced Kala to Pixel. Uh, back when he was known as Joe Gia Cheese Nicolosa. <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, so... Yeah, then I introduced uh, Kala to Pixels by Night, and then he came up with the idea. Kala was the original person that came up with the idea for Pixel to make a Discord server. So, and then Pixel was like, you know what, I think I will do that. And then it all started, and then it started off. And then that was when Gamer Master 56 joined, True Asian Gamer with his Creeper profile pic joined, uh, Creep Mario joined. I don't know who that guy is, but yeah. He's <laughs> I don't know creeper. either. But hey, come he he comes in shortly in the timeline, uh, and then uh, let's see, Yu-Gi-Oh six was there, 
uh, and a bunch of other cool people was there. Joker was there. Got to bring him up again because you know he's a part of the community. Oh yeah. Again, Dodeca was there, and yeah, just a majority of people in our friend group now that are just yeah, we're just there. And then, and then some other honorable mentions like Nerdy Yoshi Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah we just on that discord we just kept talking every day every day kept watching pixel streams every day every day every day and then the ooga booga incident happened oh yeah that's Oof. when turmoil introduced you to ooga booga and then you took part of his raid yep sadly and i still regret it to this day at this point now it's kind of like eh but like still you know i kind of regret doing that because i you know it was a bad thing to do uh, but Most it, of the Pixel by Night community saw you as enemy number one, along with Ooga Booga. Yep. Yikes. Yeah. So, see, that was a that was a thing that happened, and I'm giving everybody here lore. So if y'all are y'all are getting lore of like me and what I was like back then, and how I've like changed over the over the course of these past few years, which I'm thankful for, because if I was still Back in my Jason Likes Chicken 36 days, I would hate myself, but thankfully, you know, maturity happened. Oh, you probably get no bitches. And now, and I'm a better man. You wouldn't be offered scholarships to college. You'd be a completely different human being. Yeah, now I'm, and now I'm so nice, right? Yeah. No, but like, Very, you know, like being fantastic and like, other people want to collab with you. Yep, I'm just, you know, I'm... A lot of things can happen when you change, man, and thankfully I I changed. Thankfully. Yeah. All uh, I say like actually, that, thank God I changed. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, like for example, like you are you, like like for example, all of us back in 2017 when this whole thing started, we are completely different people now. Very different. Thankfully. Thankfully. Oh my god. But like, yeah, man. But yeah, Ooga Booga, you know, turmoil. Or back then known as Yugoslavia, they got rid of Pixel's first Discord, which Kala recommended, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Yeah, Kala bad. recommended the Discord server thing, which is all how we all got together and talked. This was on Gregory's microphone was utter garbage. Was really back, back from back then till 2019, my microphone was literally my computer microphone. Gamer Master 56, man. Creep Mario, yep. goddamn. Well, Yu Gi Oh 6. Was you know still the same username? Jason likes chicken thirty six. Nicolosa, whole different timeline. And this was twenty seventeen. Yeah, like twenty seventeen. Yeah. And then yeah, the whole Discord thing happened. Uh, the first Discord server gets shut down because of uh, me. You know, telling my friends, hey, look at this content creator. Uh, Kala joins in. Turmoil joins in. But then Turmoil freaking brought in Ooga Booga, which was the worst thing that could have happened. And then. My dumbass joined in on it, and then, yeah. Sorry, Pixel. Uh, but that was my dumbass middle school brain. <laughs> so I apologize. Yeah, that uh, was scary. Yeah, that was... I, like I said, I still regret it. But the past is the past, and thankfully I've changed from now. I remember when Pixel I've, first created his Discord, I was coming fresh off of 6th grade. Like, and I was about to go into 7th. Holy shit. And Pixel, and thanks to Pixel, I decided to make a Discord account. Yeah, Which is Pixel crazy. Is really the only reason why I made a Discord account, so... Mm, same here. Basically. And uh, I made for the, for the lit people. Alright. Then, uh, now that I mention my part of the storyline, for, you know, how I met people like you guys, uh, how I became a part of the community, Gregory, would you like to explain the timeline for the second Discord server? Because I wasn't a part of it, remember? Yeah. Because so I wasn't a part of it, because because I was an enemy. I was an enemy in that group, which I like. <laughs> I said, "Hey, to this day, because dumb, dumb middle school brain, I like Ugandan knuckles." Uh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, I fucking hated myself. Yeah. Uh, but Gregory, yeah. you explain the timeline of the second Discord server, because I know Psycho was in, so Psycho can join in a little bit if he yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I was in that one. Yeah. All I can Gregory say is this. Continue the story. The second Discord server was interesting. I remember after that, Pixel, he would create a Discord server. He created, you know, the Discord server like he wanted to. The second one, after the Ooga Booga incident. And I was an enemy. Ooga Booga was an enemy. Turmoil was an enemy. Yeah. Turmoil doesn't watch Pixel anymore. I still watch Pixel. Uh, 
Yeah. And Ooga Booga, I haven't heard of him ever since that, literally that incident. Yeah. Yeah, and all I can say is this. The second Discord server was, was, it kind of, it kind of didn't really last that long. Apparently, instead of, instead of banning Ooga Booga and deleting all of his messages, they said, fuck it, we're starting over. So the second Discord server, it was filled with some stuff from the, fir from the first server. There was a lot of stuff, you know, kind of strict on stuff. You know, Pixel was still scarred by the incident, so, you know, he had some stuff strict. But the second Discord, and basically it even carried into like the third Discord somewhat. But back in the second Discord, that was back when the Pixel community was at its peak. I'm telling you. People, Hell yeah. Yeah. Like basically and, uh, in our private first server, everyone's asking if they want to play video games like Smash, and they would easily join. But that was the Pixel server every day. Every day, someone would be like, hey, you want to play Splatoon? You want to play Mario Kart? Want to play Smash Bros? And then they just hop right in. They stop right. I was in that private server, by the way, and they tried to help. Even though I was an enemy, y'all for some reason tried to help me get back into the server. I remember Nerdio <laughs> was like trying to get you back in the server. Yeah, man. I wish she was a part of the group again. That would be really funny. Yeah, but right now, the second Discord, it was filled with very funny stuff. It it, it had some problems, but it was very fun. It's like basically our private Discord, but you know, basically public. And and if you're lucky, and if the group's big enough, Pixel will join the VC, and he will talk and have fun. But I guess something happened because surprising. I think on December seventh of twenty seventeen, I believe the same video where I uploaded the Pixel by Night Discord shutting down video because that plays a part. That day, I guess something major must have happened. Someone was having a huge argument. And Pixel, he was like, you know what? That's it. That's it. I'm tired of this. I'm deleting the Discord again. I'm deleting the Discord. And and not and some would say it's an overreaction, but Pixel ended up deleting the Discord, and I caught it on camera, and everyone was in yeah. disbelief. Very good footage. And I, I like Pixel, it. He said, and you said you don't even know how it started. It was just some random like argument that fueled, and then this second Discord server ending. Yeah, and then Pixel. I remember. I remember during that video. I think he said during the video. That he would never open another Discord server again. It was true for a few days, and then he reopened the third Discord. Yeah, and that was when Jason, like Chicken slash Chainsaw fan, made his reappearance again. Because this was my plan since I regretted, you know, being dumb back then. So, uh, my plan was to take a long hiatus from watching Pixel like a couple month hiatus and then come back under a new profile which is how i came up with chain chomp fan yes i'm not kidding you i literally have the name chain chomp fan just so i can get back in the pixels by night community i was thinking of the dumbest name possible chain chomp fan was the name that i came up with mm -hmm. that dumb and... name would eventually be like oh chain chomp fan i love that youtuber yep and now here i am like that's my you know title now but yeah, the, literally, my, the origin of Chain Chomp Fan was just a last-second name that I could come up with. And, yeah. And it worked. And I'm, pr and I'm pretty sure Pixel now knows that, you know, I'm Jason Likes Chicken and Chain Chomp Fan, because, you know, the me's are still the same. But I'm sure he doesn't mind, because, you know, he follows me on Twitter. I follow him back. He's chill with me now, which is great. I'm chill with him now. Which is, you know, very cool, and I'm I'm glad about that because you know I had different thoughts about him back then, but that was when I was a dumbass middle schooler. Uh, you know, maturity is a good thing, but yeah, I started coming back to his uh streams. You know, just a restart, just restarting all over again, and that was when I got back to talk to Game Master Fifty Six again, Psychoimp, which that was his name at the time. Uh, yep. I didn't talk to him a lot, but he was there. Uh, True Ocean Gamer was there, Dodeca was there, Joker was there, you know, we were all there. But it was also around that time, well, and Kala joined back in the community as well, under Kelly Olenek Cream, which was his other, which was his other username. Um, but yeah, you know, started watching Pixel again, it was great, just like the 2017 days. Because that was, when I started watching Pixel again, that was like 2018. So that was great. Uh, Gamer, or I'm not going to say Greg. Gamer Master 56 and Pixels, but I did get into some drama in like mid 2018. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of drama, fun. actually. 
And I think even Joker said it enough. I feel like with Pixel by Night, I feel like he held like a grudge against me. Like I feel like he held a huge grudge. Because some streams, I'd be acting like a menace to society because I was a dumbass. Yeah, you were, you were, streams, you were Gregory. Like, someday, some streams, I would like go in and generally just like, you know, try and enjoy having a conversation. And even generally asking questions and Pixel would just ignore my ass. Like. Yep, because you were, you were, a th you were a threat back then, Gregory. You were, you were an a enemy. threat back then. Yes, sir. Jason like chicken was number one on the watch list, but then it was Gamer Master fifty six. Yeah. But thankfully, good. like I said, I've changed. Uh, and then around that time, you know, around that time, uh, you know, still watch Pixel, and then I'm like, and then that was when you know Tommy got the Discord server and he was joining in a lot. I also forgot to mention Tommy joined the Discord server and like you know. Uh, like on the first Discord server, yeah, first Discord server, second Discord server, and then I dropped Nintendo Switch Online. I forgot to mention that. So we were still talking, but then around that time, Tommy was streaming as well. I'm like, you know what? I think I can do this as well. And then November 21st, 2018, the first ever change on fan stream. And then, you know, some people from the Pixel community came over, like Dodeco was there, Joker was there. Uh, Joker was the first ever person to comment on any one of my streams. Uh, Dodeca was there for the entire stream. Gamer Master was there for a little bit. Uh, and then other random people just started joining in. And then, you know, I kept streaming a little bit, a little bit more and a little bit more. And then there's this one stream where I was with Kala, because he changed his name again to Galacticoin Kala, which is how we all know him now. Uh, it was me, Kala, Tommy, and Kev were all in the Discord VC. Um, we're all playing Splatoon. Uh, freaking, oh, everybody from the Pixel community was in the chat. Psychump was there, I remember. Gamer Master was there. CB was there. Pixels by Night was there for a little bit. Joker was there. Dodeca was there. Just everybody was there. But then on that same day, even though he's pretty much getting nay-nayed, in the Splatoon community right now, the Vantastic did raid Tommy back then, and that helped boost Tommy's channel, and that also helped boost my channel because then, with Vian's viewers, he raided me, and yeah, it was crazy. And then I remember ever since that day, Gamer Master Fifty Six has been watching my streams every single day. Mm -hmm. Uh. And that was how me and him connected more. Obviously, I'm already connected with Kala because we were IRL friends for a long time. Uh, yeah, Tommy was already a friend. Kala was already a friend. And then, yeah. So then we just stopped, talked. Of course, Kev was in the group back then as well. Uh, and then I decided to make a Discord server. And then people. And then, you know, you guys joined in and stuff. And then Gregory. Um... <clears throat> And then I remember one time Gamer Master said, if I hit, mentioned a random sub goal in one of my streams saying, if I hit 70 subscribers, I will make a diss track on Coin Kala. And that was the day where everything would change for Mr. Gamer Master 56. And yeah, and then ever since then, we've been inviting him to VCs. We've been talking, even though he had a garbage mic and he was Gamer Master 56. He was still there, and we chatted and chatted, and then Gamer Master was considered a friend at the time. So then we had three, and then let's see who, who else? Let me see who else. Uh, and then, uh, of course, and then I think this was around the time Dodeca stopped watching me and Joker as well. They just had a long hiatus, and then I remember Gregory was like, "Hey, can I invite my friend over to the VC?" Oh yeah, and I, I know this part. And I was like, "Okay." I was like, sure, why not? And then in came Psycho Imp. Oh, and man. that was how Psycho Imp came to be. Louis Gregory just bringing him into a random ass VC. And now here we are. Man, now my Psycho Imp. process was, oh man, he's gonna, he's gonna really love him, man. He's really funny. He's gonna like this. And, I'm and, right. he's, and, and that's true. Thankfully, thankfully, it's crazy that right. I don't even remember that happening like at all. Like a lot of yeah. like the like most of the stuff in the past that has like happened that I was like there. I, I I just can't remember it. Like especially like 
like when I actually was like part of like when I first when I was first part of the community, like I just could not remember how I started at all. Like all I could think of was like, no, oh, yeah, I was there. Yeah, so anyways, <laughs> I don't. I only remembered because because Gamer Master. God damn it! Well, he was Gamer Master back then, so I'm gonna keep calling him that. His Gamer Master just brought it up to me one day, and I was like, oh yeah, that did happen. So yeah, that I remember literally you just being in the community, which is the reason why you know we're here talking a lot to this day is because Gregor's yeah. like, I'm gonna bring my friend in the VC. Yeah. And here we are. That and so that was cool. honestly a good thing. A really good yeah. thing, actually. So yeah. That is very great. So then we have me, Kala, Tommy, Greg, Psychoump, all in the group. Uh Dodeco's still on the hiatus. Um, yeah, Dodeco was still on the hiatus. Um, you know, DLC Gaming was joining in on a little bit, not a lot. We're not getting into the DLC Gaming timeline yet because he wasn't really like you know popping off at the time, but he was hopping in like occasionally, occasionally. Uh, but what's next in the timeline? What's next? Well, actually, pretty much the next thing is uh. DLC Gaming's Rise with Mario Maker 2. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. So, I remember Mario Maker 2 came out, and then DLC Gaming, who is now It's Eggs, uh, that was his old username, he was like, hey, I'm going to do some Mario, I'm going to stream some Mario Maker, see how I like it. I'm like, all right, I'll stop by for a bit. Little did we know, those Mario Maker streams would pop off, dog. Like... Because he used to stream on YouTube back then, he streams on Twitch now. Popped off. Those shit, that shit's popped off. His first Mario Maker stream, 50 views, you know, pretty decent. Next Mario, Mario Maker stream, 100 views. Next stream, 150 views. Next stream, 250 views. Next stream, which was his last Mario Maker stream, 450 views. There was definitely a pattern going on. It was a he pretty was, good one. He was popping off on Mario Maker, and then he just stopped. And then he just stopped, and then, you know, DLC, and then, his DLC Gaming was a part of the friend group at that time, because he was considered our sixth friend at the time, but then he just died down. Yeah, we don't know why. For a fucking year, like, holy he, just, he just disappeared. He just literally randomly disappeared. But then, at around that same time, we would replace, we would replace DLC Gaming for now, because, of course, it's X is now in the group again. But we were replaced DLC Gaming for now, and that was because of a certain channel that, you know, recently came back because Pixel shut down his third Discord server. Uh, and he said, hey, you know what, I'm going to be more active in your Discord oh, server, Chain Chomp Man. But ironically enough, around that same time, a certain one of his series would pop off a lot. And what I mean by a lot, I mean literally a lot. And that man's name was true Asian gamer. The man was in a VC with us in like earlier. Yep. Literally as soon as we started talking to him more. Um I remember the day before he uploaded his Steven Universe content that blew him that blew him up in the first place. I I got rated by Vic at that time and I uh shouted out tag and I helped him reach four hundred subscribers because his channel at that point was like kind of dead. Uh because you know his channel like was doing well like back then uh with splatoon 2 streams kind of like me right now but yeah so his channel was kind of on the was kind of like dead for a little bit but man did that change for a little bit when he uploaded steven universe versus spinel but it's smash Bros. ultimate oh, at first man. we were like yep yep i'm going here i'm going here and then it was just like, oh, okay, I guess this is a cool video, I guess. So, you know, for like the first couple of days, because, you know, we weren't expecting any anything at the at the time. But then, I was on my school bus to go to a trip. I look at my phone going through YouTube. I look at my recommended Steam Universe versus Spinel. 10K views. I'm like, what the fuck? I click on it. I click on the video. It updates to 15k views. <laughs> I'm like, huh? How does I, exit out of, I exit out of YouTube, go back on it. 25k views. It's going up, 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 and up, and up. That was the scariest time. And then I remember I took, 
I took a break off that. I look on my phone later that night. It was at 100k views. It was so weird. So yeah, that was when Steven Universe took over Tag's channel and we're like, how the fuck did you do this? That how? Is... And what's and then... crazy is that for the longest time, since, tw since even 2017, no, I think even 2018, was like, we, we all joked about Tag's channel always being dead and shit. Like... Because I remember right before Steven Universe was blowing up, he was at 300 subs for a literal year, and I was literally about to surpass him. And I think I even surpassed him for like a week. Yep, but then, man, did that change. Little did we know he'd become the most subbed person in the group, in the fun clan, by a lot. But a lot. Sad news, though. Unfortunately, it has consequences. Yep, sadly, it has consequences. He developed the worst fan base I've ever seen. And now, tag streams, they don't average a lot. Like, not that you ex not a lot that you expect from 150k views. But honestly, it's better than, you know, like, 1,000, like, five-year-olds being in your chat, honestly. So, honestly, what would you rather have? What would you rather have? Honestly, so, I, like, remember when, I remember when David actually quit Steven Universe for the first time. And I was oof, just, yeah. not for the first time, when he actually quitted it, I was like, what is you doing? Like, you could be getting views. But then when I actually realized it, I was just like, yeah, that's the best decision you can make. Yeah, but yeah, definitely now, like, tag making those Steven Universe videos was, like, probably the, not really the best thing he could do. But, but hey, around that time, when his Steven Universe videos did blow up, I remember that made us want to talk to him more. We're like, how the hell did you do this? What the hell? So, yeah, probably blowing, Steven Universe blowing up for his channel was a good thing, because that got us to talk to him more. Just, you know, ask him a question about, like, how how did you do this? How did you do this? So, yeah, man. Six person in the friend group. We got, of course, we got me, Kala, Gamer Master. Or, actually, I'm going to go in order. Me, Kala, Tommy, Gamer Master, uh, uh, Psychoump, David, or Tag. Uh, then, after that, you know, of course, uh... Who's next in the timeline? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yes! The seventh person. Dodicia. Coming back after a long hiatus. Oh, yeah. Dodicia. Like I said before, he was on my first ever stream. He was a part of the Pixels by Night community back then. But uh, he took a long hiatus. Like a year hiatus. But then around when uh, COVID started or... Not really even when COVID started, like before COVID started. I remember during, I remember, I think it was like late June. I was shooting Splatoon one day and then Dodeca just randomly came in my chat and he, he, we talked for the whole stream and then he officially joined the group. Yeah, he just literally out of nowhere, he just came back and because before then, like before then he would pop in occasionally. But, like, not as active as he is right now. Because now he's, like, joining our streams all the time. Like, really active now. Which is great. Because ODC is, is funny. And I wish he was here in this VC right now. But hopefully, you know, hopefully December, uh, when we do this podcast again, he'll be here. But, yeah, Dodicia coming back after a long hiatus. Amazing thing. Another thing I thank COVID for. Because COVID pro basically brought back Dodicia from the dead. Which is great. So... Seven person in the friend group, Dodicia coming back. And then after Dodicia, the DLC gaming return on Twitch.tv, aka the It's Iggs. It's Iggs debut on Twitch. This was when Among Us was popping off. Uh, this was how a majority of us started, like a majority of us in the group came together. Like people from my chat, uh, like viewers from my chat, longtime viewers, just became like now we just talk a lot like literally vc every day because of what eggs has done and as much as i hate saying it um it's eggs among us discord server brought us more together well, that's so among crazy. us crazy to among us brought us more together among us actually did something right for once in a among, while the only thing i think among us for it, it really did bring the group together as much as i yeah. hate saying it it really did <laughs> And it's Iggs pretty much did too, because he's the one that, you know, I I'm not gonna number. You I'm not gonna, or you know, I'm still gonna do it if I can keep track, because I'm gonna lose track of all the like the list of you know people, uh, in order from friends that I made. But 
you know, Iggs, you know, coming back from the dead. Uh, you know, he's like, I want to chart Among Us. And I remember Sal back then in my chat. Uh, he was a mod at the time because I gave certain people mod uh, for people that have been very active in my streams. Or like people that I trusted back then that were very active in my streams. Corn Rice, Sal, Sora, Yu-Gi-Oh! Who was a part of the Pixels by Night group back then. Uh, you know, other people as well. <clears throat> Well, those are not all my mods are in, you know, this uh, Discord, but and Hanzo later on as well. But yeah, I'm trying to see if I missed anybody, which I don't think I did. Yeah, but yeah, the, the mods, you know who you are, you know who you are. Uh, but yeah, Iggs, I remember the first Among Us group that he did. Iggs started off, which which is the Discord server that Iggs started off with, which is his official Discord server now. Um, you know, he brought in me, uh, himself, he brought Sleepy Pancake, <laughs> which is how we got to know Sleepy Pancake more, which was, which is Dino Man's brother, if you did not know, literally, we, we VC'd with Sleepy Pancake before we VC'd with Dino Man, and how? Because Ig somehow had his Discord, and he just invited him to Among Us games, literally the most random crap ever. And then this was the first time we got to talk to Volcano. So yeah. Vo he brought in Volcano randomly in the Discord VC. And this is when he sounded like a two year old and, and he had the worst it's mic known to man. I can't just now hit puberty. Like, oh my God. Yeah. And the reason why we talk to Sal now and the majority of people here is because of Among Us, which is so crazy to think. Uh, and then there were, of course, other people like Tag in the group, Psycho joined in, uh, Gregory joined in. And then, like, from September to, like, you know, when, like, COVID, like, school was starting again and stuff like that, like, from six September to, like, November, that was when, like, the Among Us craze hit us and we were just played it literally every day, every day. Um, and then it, like, died out, but, man, do I thank Among Us for something, because it brought the group together, man. It brought the group together, you know, it brought, and this is how people, like, Corn Rice came back. Or Corn Rice came to be a part of the group. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! coming back from, uh, you know, from the Pixels when I community since day one. Uh, now being a part of this community, which we now talk pretty much daily, which is great to reconnect with him. Uh, you know, Sal being a part of the community, which is very, very cool because Volcano's cool. Corn Rice is cool. Sora, better be here. Will always be here. Uh, he's also very cool person from the community hanzo part of the community as well which is very cool and then but and then egg started bringing his family tree <laughs> like mgjr oh my, <sighs> my god freaking mgjr joining in thanks to among us bringing kevin omar from among us so bringing them basically back from the dead um and who else who else sleepy pancake like i said Yu Gi Oh. Zach Scott, aka Dodicia. Um, I and like yeah, man. It. I like how it's. For, cr I like how for everyone else that we met in the Pixel group since day one, everybody at least took a break at least once. But I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh has ever took a break. I think he's been with us since since day one, and I don't think he's ever taken a break. He has, he has. It's just we yeah. never like eat with him until Among Us happened, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, but he would still be in, like, your chat or something. Yeah. That's insane, man. Yeah, you go. You're a real one. You're a real one. Everybody that, you know, watches my streams are Everyone real ones. is a real one, including yes. day oneers. Including you watching right now. Yes. If you made it this far, shout out to you. Yes. But, uh, yeah, man, Among Us brought a majority of us together. So, after Dodeca... We got Iggs, and then we're gonna, let's see, we're gonna fill out the rest of it. So, and then we got Sal, who was next, then Sleepy Pancake, because they were part of, like, the first Among Us group. So, Sal and Sleepy Pancake. Um, and by the way, Sleepy Pancake's pretty much another IRL friend, because uh, I know Dino Man IRL, so Sleepy Pancake's pretty much another IRL friend, even though we n rarely talk IRL. Uh, then Sal was, didn't come from the Pixels by Night community, didn't come from... It isn't an IRL friend of mine, but literally just came from a random Smash Brothers stream of mine. So literally a 
a chain shop fan fan uh you know being you know just talking to him a lot very cool and then same thing with corn rice and sora being a part of it you know corn rice is coming from a random splatoon stream of mine and sora literally coming from tags community which is which is fun yep sora came from tag and then just started watching me a lot damn so yeah went from tag to me and now coming along full so circle watching everybody now damn it's crazy so, yeah. even for me because even back in the beginning like even all the way back in 2017 it's so crazy to see some of these like character developments and just developments in general happen for example yeah i just i just love talking about this kind of stuff because it's just cool looking back on it and how like we all came together i just you know it's just so cool because you know we have people from the pixels when i community we have people that i know irl we have people that took a long hiatus from that Pixels Bonnet community and then coming back. And then we just got, you know, just regular viewers from our streams just coming in here. Like, it's the coolest thing ever. And then, like, just random ass people joining in. Like, goddamn freaking, <laughs> like, Sleepy Pancake and MGJR. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Like, it's just so crazy to think about. And then the. <clears throat> and then you know that's how we all came to be and then just random people joining in and then also mgjr was of course a part of the group nick alonzo came to be he's like a he's like a god we praise him even though we've only talked to him once and it and he kept disconnecting from the among us lobbies every time we played um and then hanzo as well who's been wa who i remember watched me ever since my uh my Pretty sure my hero stream when I was waiting for hero. So he's an OG as well, which is very fun. Uh, so and then Dino Man. So fun to like look back at this because I remember even I remember back in 2017, I watched I watched True Asian Gamer get his Elgato. I I was watching him before he got the Elgato. Man. I was. I remember. What's? I remember watching. What's? I remember. Why I remember when I discovered him, his most recent video was the Husk video. Yep, oh my oh my god, I remember that video. Jesus man. And one thing that shocks me is like, you know, before Steven Universe blew up his channel, I'm like, I helped him get to four hundred subscribers. I'm like, alright, alright David, just keep on streaming more and you'll get to five hundred in no time. Man. <laughs> Looking back at that now, Jesus Christ. I think I think ever since that whole Among Us craze, I think we've only added one person into the friend group, and that's um, Joker. Yep, Joker, who I was getting to later on, because everybody else, also BB Awesome in the friend group, I know who I roll, because from high school, she's kind of in the community. She's like not really active, but still, she's in the community. She's an editor for my channel, which is very cool. And then you know, other people in here, just random ass people joining in. Um, and yeah, and another person I forgot to mention, how could I forget the man that literally, how we started watching my channel, uh, this was around when I, when I started streaming, so like 2019, beginning of 2019, uh, I just started watching his channel, and then he just started watching me, and he is, and to this day, he's been really helpful with, you know, helping me get thumbnails out and stuff like that, you probably know who I'm gonna mention already, Mom. Uh, and he's and he's just been a very loyal supporter ever since. I've been supporting him to this day too, even though he doesn't really stream as much anymore. But that man is Monk Television, which is crazy because I started out watching him, and I would have never thought this man would be a part of the group. But here we are. So it's like it's crazy. Yep, and to now think that TV and Cycle are known as the thumbnail masters in the group. <laughs> Very much. My God. No, they're known as cool people. Yeah, they're known as That's what cool they're, yeah. people, but they're also known for making amazing thumbnails. They are. They do have good art. I can't lie. They do got good ass art. And then you know, uh, ever since like you know the Among Us thing with like everybody joining in, nobody knew has really joined in other than like you know a couple of people, but like not really major people that are like a part of like the group. Like, people that talk every day, like us. Um, you know, Dino Man joining in. Uh, Dino Man joining in was, like, probably the second newest one. Because of, you know, him watching my streams a lot. <laughs> just consistently, and then he just became a huge legend. 
So yeah, Dino Man's pretty much there as well, becoming one of the newer ones. But the newest one, which is the coolest one, is Joker coming back after a two-year goddamn hiatus. That's Literally, crazy. Greg, you're the you're the one that brought him back. You explain this. All right. So basically, um, basically what happened was, um, I was just like randomly thinking. We were like, damn, we need to bring back Joker. So like right before you meet Topia stream. I decided, you know what, fuck it, let me add him. So I added him, I was like, yo, you want a VC, like good old times? And he actually wanted to. And you know, we VC during your first Metopia stream. We were like catching up and shit. And yeah, and basically, that he spent basically your whole stream, basically like me, ch me and him catching up. And you know, I was basically trying to catch him up on like what, what we've been doing since 2019, so. That's great. And then, ever since then, he's pretty much been joining the VC every day, which is great. So now he's an active part of the community again, and I'm glad about that. So yeah, and that's pretty much the timeline. The whole ass timeline of how this friend group came to be. So like yeah, I said, we got people we got people from, you know, the Pixels One Eye community. Once again, Pixels One Eye, you an actual legend, dog. Uh, you know, I... I apologize for all the stuff I did in the past. I don't even, you're probably not watching this, but either way, I just want to make it clear that my past self was dumb. Thankfully, I'm a different person now. And I'm just thankful for everything you've done because without you, I would have never met these very cool people I'm in the VC with right now and other people, uh, you know, that are in our Discord server. And, you know, just uh, people reconnecting again are great, is, is just great. And then, of course, other than the Pixels Bunai community, we just got literally viewers from my streams, which is crazy to think. Now they're a part of the group, which is amazing. Longtime viewers as well. And, um, and then we just got pe random ass people joining in, like Iggs bringing Sleepy Pancake and MGJR. But hey, man, it all started off with me joining in that. But, oh, frick, I'm, okay. But all I gotta say is how it all started off was when I randomly clicked on Pixel's Twitch and he just was streaming and Tommy sent that friend request. That's how it all started. That's how it all started right there. That's insane. That it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy. It, like It basically all started because of you. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just, you know, thankful that... Thankful to my goddamn brain that I'm a different person now and, you know, I've learned from my mistakes. And that I've, you know, made a bunch of, met a bunch of cool people. I reconnected with a bunch of cool people. Um, I met a bunch of new cool cr con other content creators that I never thought I'd ever be able to talk to. And that's thanks to every single one of y'all watching right now, man. And, you know, I really want to continue doing YouTube. And I'm going to keep giving out content. Because, like I said, I want to do videos. I want to start doing videos um um and yeah man just hope you all stick around to the very end because i'll be here for a while man and i just hope college doesn't screw anything up but you know what i think i'll be just fine mm -hmm. and yeah that's pretty much the end of that but yeah it was fun talking about that oh yeah because i don't think i really went i didn't i don't think i've ever really like uh, described it like ever on a stream or in a video like in depth so yeah that was, you did a pretty good job with that. Yeah, that was thank you job. yep that I guess that I guess that proves how much passion I have in it man how thankful you probably, I am you could probably make it into like a novel or something literally like a little story <laughs> yeah but it's it's crazy and I'm like I said, thankful, man. And I just wanna, you know, wanna keep building off memories. Hopefully, meeting up with y'all, just doing more cool things. Hopefully, you know, because I really wanna do YouTube full time. And if I do manage to do that, that'd be a dream come true, man. And I can keep doing content for y'all. Uh, I can help promote my friends' channels, help them blow up, and we can all just thrive together. And that'd just be wonderful. Not gonna lie. Like I said this earlier in the podcast, but like I feel like I feel like I kind of want to talk about like you know pit like pixel and like how people 
kind of switched from him to you, like, kind of like, I guess you could say his, de like, downfall for a bit. Thankfully, he brought him, he brought himself back up, though. He brought himself back up, which is good. Yeah, because, like, I kind of... But I, I still, I still watch him occasionally, because I, I'm not, I don't, I didn't completely drop him, because I, you know, he helped inspire me to do stuff, so, you know, I want to keep supporting him. And I, you know, I, sometimes I work a little bit, you know, just watch a little bit to help support him, so... Yeah. But yeah, a majority of people from his community, you know, just started watching me. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but, but hey, here we are. Yeah, I just want to, like, talk about it because it's just, I find it really interesting how the person that brought us, like, all together just, like, kind of fell off for a bit. Or when I mean... Yeah, and I, I mean and, I, and I think we all know why, and that's just the downfall of him doing viewer streams. Yeah. I which I which I understand I understand why he did it, but that really killed off his channel for a little bit. Yeah, for a I little bit. Like do it like a timeline of that, like a little bit, like what you did. You go ahead, Gregory. Right. But we're not saying, but we're not saying Pixels when I it's the worst streamer ever because of this. Oh my God, we're not saying that because he brought his channel back to life thanks to a game that he played, and he brought his YouTube channel back to life because of certain content he's doing. But right. Gregory. You do the timeline, and if you make any mistakes, I'll stop you. And Psychum, of course, if you'd like to stop in and say a couple of things, feel free to do so. But I'm I'm enjoying this. Uh, I'm so enjoying I this. I really hate to say it, and I really hate to say this, but but unfortunately, I, this is going to be the last time we're going to talk about like t like while you were discussing the timeline, my mom came in and told me I need to go to bed. So like, you know, uh, because because I'm literally recording this the day before the first day of school. So yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. But that and that's why I'm talking like this and not, you know, energetic and all of that, so Yeah. Awesome. All good. So yeah. So basically it's kinda like the downfall of Pixel, I guess. So back in like twenty seven like I said, like me and Chain said, twenty seven basically the entirety of twenty seventeen is basically like and the first half of twenty eighteen was basically Pixel's peak because you know, mm -hmm. Everybody in the community was like, you know, joining the streams and like, you know, everybody in the community was having a good time. But I feel like starting in mid twenty eighteen, like Pixel was just, you know, like I feel like he was just like, not not really doing that great because, like, I I don't know how to exactly start this, but like I feel like one of the big things is that like he started to slow down in like viewer streams, but like I feel like he was starting to like make some like you know dumb stuff in the Discord. Like, I don't know, I remember... Yeah, that, that's that's what started you and his drama. Yeah. God, that was an interesting time. Yeah. And I didn't even know about it until you, like, talked about it in the private server. Yeah, basically, I remember I made a Yo Mama joke to True Asia Gamer, but... And then Pixel got offended over it, like... <laughs> like sometimes just things like... Gregory. That, like, that just basically describes just, like, how not great of a thing he is. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Not great of a thing. What am I saying? What? What? Is You're that saying that as if he's like some kind of criminal. Holy not shit! He's, not, he's not Jesus. A criminal, but like, I feel like that basically describes just like how I guess you could say out of touch he is because I feel like another problem with him that kind of also caused not really his downfall, but like you know, it's just like Joker even brought it up. But like, I feel like he just wouldn't keep inside jokes. For example, I remember in Jackbox, he'd be like say like we would like create like an inside joke and then he would like shut it down straight away like like he just wouldn't want running jokes on his channel like the fuck i mean i kind of understand that i kind of understand that but uh sometimes you know you don't want to keep a joke running too long yeah but but you can like keep some... you can keep it running for like a little bit but not like immediate so i kind of understand what you're saying there yeah, but like unless unless it's like really stupid. Yeah, but sometimes, like really stupid. But most of the time, in order for YouTubers to like kind of like bring in an audience, you need like running jokes. Like for example, Scott the Waz and Madden 08. So. Yep, and Kala and Lala. <laughs> but, oh my god! But like sometimes that just kind of makes things insufferable to watch, but like not insufferable, but just kind of like unpleasant. <laughs> but I remember. Yeah, I don't. I don't really. I don't really care about that stuff because that was like that was like Gamer Master Gregory talking. Yeah, so, I mean, and, I mean, those and, are like kind of small stuff. Those are kind of like kind of nitpicking, I guess you can say. But like, yeah, but back yeah. then, Gamer Master Gregory was like took it. And Gregory was like, like that Michael <laughs> I, guess the, I took that personally. <laughs> yeah, 
but I feel like those are nitpicks that, that I guess you could say to some to most people but I feel like definitely the big one that definitely contributed is like to give you context back during Pixel's peak whenever he streamed viewer games of course they get huge views but when, it, when he also streamed you know story story mode games like Phoenix Wright or Mega Man he would actually get the same amount of views but then, yeah like they're, they're decent too yeah but then all of a sudden in like the week before Smash Ultimate came out, keep in mind the week before Smash Ultimate came out, that could give Pixel. And that was also that was also around the time when I started streaming because Smash Ultimate came out December seventh, twenty eighteen. I started streaming November twenty first, twenty eighteen. Yeah, and also like another thing is that basically <clears throat> I'm just giving you context because Smash Ultimate that could be giving Pixel good amount of views to like you know make viewers stick around even longer, but. A week before Smash Ultimate came out, Pixel announced that he was no longer going to be doing viewer-based streams. Yep, and that... How ironic is that? Because that was around the time when I started streaming viewer games, so... Yeah, when I first started streaming. And basically, for Pixel, like... He basically explained that he was, like, kind of getting, like, you know, kind of being a little burnt out out of viewer games, which is completely understandable. But, like, he also says that he wants to really do it. He really, his, his excuse, not excuse, but his reasoning is that what is that he wants people to watch it for him and not for the game because sometimes people will join for Mario Kart and not f to watch him. That I understand, too. I mean, I can understand that, but, like, but, like, I, I, I don't know how to say it. Like, my mind's all jumping. I, I, I get what he's saying because I kind of feel the same way, too. But I just do it anyways, because yeah, there's like literally like, nothing else I really can do. So yeah, but I feel like Pixel wasn't really estab hasn't really like established himself as like a streamer where he can like stream whatever, and then he'll still get like the same amount of views. So like basically, and like and like most and like I guess after he basically announced that, most of the people, I guess I guess I guess slowly people from what we mentioned in the 2017 original friend group. Just basically kind of like slowly moved on from Pixel after that. Yep. And you know where they moved on to? Like they would move on to Chain Chop Fan because ironically enough, he was starting the stream around that time. Yep. And not only that, but fewer viewer games, so. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of ironic. Viewer games, so. Yep. So that was kind of ironic. Yeah, I think I think back in like. December, I kind of viewed it as watch Pixel for the for the story mode games and watch Chain for the viewer games. But basically, and then and then basically by the time Chain started blowing up, most of the people started to move on. Basically, basically everybody from the 2017 friend group has either moved on from Pixel or completely moved over to Chain. So then basically by the time like let's say mid 2019, Pixel barely had a fan base anymore. And like, yeah, which, which think, made me feel bad. I, I know that sucks, and I think to basically prove it, I think at it, I think at its worst, I remember he streamed Super Mario Party like online with his like friends, and like basically the max that I saw he got was three people. Jesus. Like, but it's but one thing that's that I do give credit to Pixel for he does he does still have some OG people that watch him. Yeah, like Alex CB. Gamer and CB. Yep, exactly. <laughs> but I think besides those, he barely had a fan base during like 2019, which sucked. Yep. So then like, the period of like 20... What was it, like 27... Like, 2018. Around like 2018, that was like, would you say that was like, quote-unquote, the downfall yeah, of Pixel. Like I, said, I don't really want to. Half of 2018 was still his prime, but at the same time, the last half of 2018 was also starting. Was like his downfall. Yeah. But like, yeah, I just kind of find that interesting. And then 2019, like it even reached a point when Chain was actually starting to get a little bit more popular. Where? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not 2018. My bad. Not 2018. Uh, 2019. 2019. Yeah, I would say that's definitely his downfall right there. Yeah, right? yeah. That was because like, I. That, that was definitely his miss here. Like, you know, like, hit or miss, and 2019 is definitely his miss here. Yeah. Yeah. I remember... So it was... I remember it even got to a point where Pixel, he had, like, what, 9,000 subs, but Chain just had 200 subs, and then he was starting to get more average viewers than Pixel. 
Yep, and then I remember Baby Gregory back then was like, oh my god, that was changed. I'm doing more views than you. I remember I got God, that was cringe. I <laughs> that was like, I feel like Pig also, good thing you mentioned that, because I remember, I think, I think it, Pixel, he says he doesn't do it for views, but I think the whole downfall thing was actually getting to him, because he made it a rule where he basically said that, like, you can't mention the viewer count at all during the streams. And I remember during... And I remember during, like, his 24-hour stream, when he was streaming, like, one of his segments was Dragon Quest, he had 50 people, and I actually congratulated him on that. He timed me out for congr congratulating him on 50 viewers. Damn. Like, and yeah, and I feel like during 2019, like, basically throughout the entirety of 2019, he just kind of had, like, no fan base, really. And it's honestly really sad to see. Yeah. The man that we looked up to slowly started going down, but that all changed. Yeah, because in 2020, 2020, I believe 2020, Pixel just wanted to stream Persona 5 Royale because he felt like it, and then guess what? He started to get viewers, and now, and now to basically fast forward it, nowadays he's he's averaging like you know seven, he's ten. averaging like ten viewers a stream now, like what he did in 20 in like the first half of 2018, which is good and. Like, and then 2020 and above, he's been doing pretty good. His reaction, he started doing reaction videos, and those have been doing good on his YouTube channel. Uh, you know, Metopia series, even though of, he isn't doing it with, like, viewers, you know, still doing good. Um, let's see. I feel like for Dodeca, I remember I talked about it to Dodeca, and I feel like, and Dodeca said that he just doesn't feel like, and he says that Pixel, he feels like Pixel doesn't know what he, what he wants to do, to be honest on YouTube because on YouTube he's been uh, he's been having the same content since like 2014 so like yeah yeah and but people are still watching it yeah and, he, and it seems like he's enjoying it because he hasn't changed the thing yeah so pixel if you're watching this this is not like a shot at you that we we you basically inspire us to do YouTube I guess and you basically helped us i guess well well most people but like oh most people okay yeah i don't think cycling was inspired by pixel to do youtube so but ba basically like pixel if you're watching this if you're listening to this this is not a shout out at you we thank we thank you for bringing us all together i hope mm -hmm. the best for you i hope the best for you it's just sometimes you got to admit, 2019 was a was a horrible year for you in terms of performance. But hey, you brought it back up. Yeah. Because I remember around like like the end of 2020 for me, or like mid 2020 for me, that wasn't really good for me either. Like I'm not afraid to admit that. Yeah. But and thankfully, you know, I grew I grew off of that. Yeah, and I remember in the last half, of, and not really the last half, the last couple months of 2020, I was still at, like, some subscriber mark for a while. I think I was still at, like, oh, I remember I was at the beginning, I was at 600 subs for literally, like, four months. Oh, my God. And then, I, I forgot what happened. You just, it just, you just went up from there. Yeah. And then it went up, like, you know, a little bit, and then I uploaded Minecraft, and then, you know. That helped out a lot. Your Minecraft stream. Very fun stuff just keeps happening. Yep, and then Cyclump, you know? Just being Cyclump. Yeah. Yep. Fun videos, fun skits. His test video that gave hopefully nobody seizures. Uh, Yo, Cyclump. But hey, what Cyclump yeah, making fun content. What, what was your thoughts on all this pixel talk and stuff? Like, I mean... Yeah, like, the fact that, like, yeah, it's, like, everybody's, like, really have been, like, impact on, like, Pixel. It's, like, I mean, yeah, same for me here. Like, I've seen, like, like a, a good handful of, like, his older videos around from, like, I think, like, 2014 and such. And then around, like, I guess, like, the Tomodachi stuff as well. But, yeah, around, mm -hmm. like, um, 2018, 2019, I've kind of completely dropped, like, the whole Pixel thing as well. Like, I kind of, like, hopped in every now and then during, like, his, like, vcs whenever everyone was just there because it was funny but yeah it's just like no offense but like his style just doesn't exactly click for me because it's like from my like kind of like perspective i kind of view like my perspective perspective like to be like very mature and it's sort of like more abstract than like what he would really do 
so it doesn't exactly fit in my in like my criteria so it kind of just like clicks away from me and it's like yeah it's like he's a cool dude but like i don't know what else to really like um do whenever i'm around with him yeah, yeah. well i got but we could all agree he was a good part of our childhoods yep, he, he indeed was. was yo also psych one but also thoughts yeah on, like hit on like the entire timeline of the friend group like i'm asking you because you were like really quiet during the whole thing Oh, what are my thoughts on that exactly? Yeah. Yeah, Craig, we're just bringing you in randomly. Now here yeah, you are. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The reason why I bring some love to my boy Cyclone right here. I know. The reason why I couldn't say much because again, I don't remember much. Like all I could remember was around like, because I. That's the thing. It's like I. What I definitely like remember is that I wasn't very active when I first joined. Like the first, I think, I guess year. Yeah. I only joined like every now and then, but it was around like 2019 ish that I started to like pop up a little bit more with, I think, was there like some videos around that? No, I don't think there were. Yeah, oh yeah, it was like ranking videos and such that like, appeared. And I started like hanging out as well. And then from like late 2019 and so forth, that's what I've started to like do what I usually do now. So yeah, just become more active. Yep. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I just couldn't remember like a, a lot of what happened between Pixel and like the CCF community or the fun clan group <laughs> fun <and such>. clan. <laughs> yeah so yeah my bl my mind just kind of went blank but yeah I really like um I really like how like the direction of like this whole like timeline went through so yeah cool yeah. cool and you never know like from here and the future you never know if we can meet new people that could be a part of the group oh yeah you know, just more stuff that we could just talk about for like another podcast like who knows maybe something else major will happen that we can no. share in steps in i was about to say september in december before the new year oh yeah so yeah. yeah and i think but if anything else we could talk about is i think I think we did pretty good. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's like a good amount of stuff we, that we talked about. Like, how long has it been since like we've like two hours? Been starting? Two like, hours. Of yeah, right now for me it's like t it's like ten oh six, and we started at around. Hold on, I'm trying. I'm checking right now. Right now we've been yeah. recording for two hours and twenty two minutes. Yeah, so, exactly. That's a good amount of time. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So let's before like, we the last podcast oh, can... we talked for another like forty minutes. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this was good. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is like decent length. I mean, this is good length for a podcast, so. Hell yeah. Yes. And uh, let's see. And even though we base well majority of the time we only had three people in the podcast, hopefully next time we'll have more people. Uh, but before we end, let's do a quick recap. So. Yeah. Uh, we started talking about you know our goals. For 2021 or like what we achieved which the majority of us achieved some stuff uh like our goals for 20 for this year um and then we talked about our goals for 2022 2023 volcano bay 2023 hell yeah uh, yes, sir. mark your calendars y'all mark your calendars fun clan mark your calendars 2023 start making bets on those fucking things my god. <laughs> Stop making your bets. When are we actually going to meet up? <laughs> oh, man. I placed $5 I that it's going to be on. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be on June 29th, 2023. Got it. I'm going to look back on this. Uh, and then, what else did we talk about after that? Then we talked about eggs being cringe for like a millisecond. And then, he got, <laughs> then, he got, yep. then he joined the VC for for a point mil millisecond. Yep. Yep. And then we talked about the birth of the the oh, fun clan. Of the friend group. Yeah. Hell yeah. The whole timeline of the fun clan, and then Gregory talked about uh, pixel stuff. Yeah, and then I can't wait to, in a year when <clears throat> the friend group suffers another change, like a dramatic, like a, a suffers another big change, and then we could just look back and think, oh man, oh man. Cause you never know what could happen. Like the next thing you know, Cyclone's like newest video will just blow him up. Like you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Or somehow someone big, like uh, like fucking I don't know, Galactic Queen Kala, or like <laughs> or like 
someone big like let me let me look fuck it like some someone big like galactic coin color true aging gamer they can announce their departure from the friend group and that would be huge yeah it would be know. huge that's like the first thing that like someone would just straight up admit that well actually that technically did already happen for like a little bit yeah for like, yeah like, kind of but that was like a few but like that was like a few months so yeah, yeah. Glad she's back, though. Yo, Corn Ice, if you if you made it this far, I'm glad you're back, cause you are lit. Yes, very lit. Lit thank like you for, the... Thank you for being a part of the community. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I. Think, I think we're good. I think that's gonna do it. Yeah, we're set. Yep, a two-hour and twenty-five-minute podcast. Good podcast. Third yeah. episode, y'all. Third episode done. We're making it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get, get ready for December, because for December, that's when episode four comes out. All right, so yeah. December, I'm going to have 3K subs. Cyclone's going to have 200 subs. Greg's going to have 1K subs. Yeah. I said it here first, y'all. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, I'm right. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Giannis with a fake ring.